your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Well, hey. welcome home, family. It's your, your mom, mom and dad. dad. Oh my God, bravo. It's just the two of us in the studio. One more one mm-hmm, more episode mm-hmm. without Lee. Yeah, Lee's I miss coming him. back. I miss him so much. It feels actually very lonely. We are recording. I think Lee's in the air right now or something, he's maybe. Flying. He's coming back. He's, he's going to be home. He's going to be home for our first official Joey is the Bachelor episode yes. next week, I'm which so I'm so excited him. for. I'm excited to see Lee. I'm excited to I miss start that, I the miss bachelor. them. Joey, Joey and, and, yes, and Lee understood. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, today we are officially doing part two mm-hmm. of Joey's cast bios. If you didn't listen to last week's, please check it out. We had our guest Arden Marine, who we're obsessed with. She was amazing. She is so much fun. Please check that out. We had such a blast. And I was like, oh my God, we actually got through a good amount. And then I looked at the number of women that we have left to talk about. And it's an extra long cast list this year, Evan. So long. There's 32 women. We're going to okay? rip through them. We're going to get through them. <laughs> so today. We'll be doing cast bios for the next two months. <laughs> so just stay tuned. It's going to be cast bios every so day. stay tuned. Because we have about four hours to cover. No, no. We're, no, gonna we're probably going to try to make it a yeah. little more like concise. And mm-hmm. I say this and Lord knows we'll go get through two and it'll be yeah, 40 minutes. Exactly. Um, and then I apologize to the women at the end who we <laughs> just go. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Rachel, I don't know. Seems nice. All right. Thanks guys. So sorry about that. <laughs> just as a heads up, but yeah, check out part one. That mm-hmm. was so much fun. Um, but for this part two, you know, Evan and I thought we would just be in the studio alone. Family time. Lonely. We're mm. so lonely. Well, that's a really beautiful song. Did you write it? No. Oh. You know, you've never heard of that song. No, before? I have. I just. Oh, to. I was like, that's wild. You bit. I was that. like, you're so gullible. You're so gullible. No, I said, did you write it? It's you're like, so obviously gullible. Obviously, you didn't write it. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Yeah, you well, no, believe actually, I did it. that Gary and Teresa's wedding <laughs> registry was real, and we were sending <laughs> gifts to them. Okay, okay? true, true. I am go. So, I actually am very gullible. It's true. <laughs> but it's just going to be the two of us today, all alone in the studio. Mm-hmm. We're recording at nighttime. We're having some beverages. Cheers, y'all. We're bust cheers. Out your, bust out your beverage. We're having a, an adult drink. And last time we did the Golden Bachelor cast bio, just me and Evan. And Evan got a little drunky. So I'm sure Absolutely. that's going to what with the length of this uh, list of cast bios for the women. I'm, I'm sure. halfway through my drink and we haven't even started. Woo. <laughs> Oh no! It'll be an editing journey for me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and we'll cut out half of right. it. Right? Yes, exactly. Perfect. Perfect. Um, but before we officially dive into the rest of these cast bios, I do have to let all of you know that um, yes, I have seen some of these DMs. The people, the family, they are demanding an update because um, for those of you who listened to our Golden Bachelor recap episode that came out last week, which if you haven't. Uh, oh, the wedding recap. The wedding recap. Yeah. Please listen to that. We had a lot of fun that. Was that was really fun. Um, that was a really fun time. But at the top of that episode, we talked about how Evan had just informed me that he had glass in his oh, foot yeah. that was infected. He showed it to me right before the episode started. It was infected. It was scary looking. It was difficult to walk. He, could, he was li- literally struggling walking. He was like, oh, yeah, by the way, I've had this glass in my foot for four days. Yeah. Okay, I told him I was going to take him to the urgent care as soon as we were done but of course family but of course as soon as we end and i'm like we're going to urgent care he resisted and refused correct he wouldn't allow it correct and i'm like you know what i'll end at the episode i'll get everything prepped and then towards the, later in the day i'll, I'll try again rejected again mm-hmm. he rejected my advances and he said absolutely no and i said fine you're your own person but i'm mad mm-hmm. well if you can all recall Also in that episode that we talked about it, Evan's like, maybe I'm just going to will it out of my body. And maybe I'm just going to start meditating on the fact that it's going to come out. Mm -hmm. Well, I say this with so much rage pulsating through my body, um, so much rage, I'm like practically levitating off of this chair. The man woke up the next morning and I said, Evan, how's the foot doing? And he said, look, and it wasn't infected anymore and the glass was gone. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Listen, so I that's know. so annoying. No, that is it. <laughs> do not listen to him. Go if you have glass in your foot. Go to the doctor if you are able. You know, please, for the love of God, go. Do I recommend her man. path with for mere mortals. Do not listen to this man who's like, oh my god, mere mortals. <laughs> no, listen to this man who's like, I was able to will it out of my body. Mm-hmm. That sounds like some crazy, crazy shit on Instagram. That I'm like, stay away from whatever influencer that is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is that this same person that does the no water you yeah, know what i mean this yes. is this is this is, this is it's is a very man, niche group this is the man who's telling you not to drink water yes. he's also saying it's an anti-water movement saying. you know it's kind of a part of the same thing but i will say i just had a feeling i was like yeah. the the infection is coming from my messing with it that's kind of what i was feeling i was kind of like pre me messing with it it was just a slight bother then i you started the surgery really that you were performing on my it? self-surgery was too aggressive yeah okay. and i let it heal and now zero pain no glass, don't know what happened, but the will, the power, the strength of my anti-glass meditation was champion enough to have victory over it's truly absurd it's stuff. truly it's so <laughs> angering to me like like just truly it is so infuriating and you know what what i will accept is the fact that it was maybe irritated because you were performing relentless yes. surgery because you do perform relentless surgery like you said you know the top one of your ends for the year at the beginning of this year was like mm-hmm. i'm not going to spend as much time in the bathroom which you've completely failed by the way <laughs> been in the bathroom. You know, that's actually very true. You've been in the bathroom constantly. But I know often when you're in the bathroom, when most men are in the bathroom, you know, they're in there scrolling, you know, through God knows what, watching all the the, all the insta vids, you know, the TikToks, all of this. I know that you're often performing surgery. It's usually a surgical time. It's my surgery time. Yeah, it's his surgery time, everybody. You know, he finds some small, you know, uh, ingrown hair that he's like, yeah, instead of maybe like leaving it alone, he's going to just perform home surgery. Um, Shout out to all my (laughs) non-educated surgeons. No, no, don't. <laughs> Shout out that's another, to the that's, non-board certified, this is, non-educated this is surgeons gonna get, out this there. This is going to get demonetized ju- on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Who are just putting in the time. Nope. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of like, you know, I don't know. Yep. Being handy around the house. Being handy on your body. It's absolutely not the same. <laughs> Self-surgeon, master glass meditator. Mm-hmm. Two things on my resume I would recommend. Yeah, if he, had a, if he had a cast bio uh, yes. going into this, it would be self-proclaimed surgeon. Self-surgeon. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> Anywho. We should get into these cast bios. Let's get so into many these cast them. bios. There are so many of them. Um, just a reminder, I said it last week. I say it every single time. But if you're tuning in for the first time, number one, listen to part one. Number two, um, just a reminder, this is what we do. We pull up a photo and we simply see the photo and name of one of these individuals and we make absolute wild assumptions with no foundation just off of the photo we are seeing. And then we'll look at the ABC cast bio. But we do not know who any of these people are. We know nothing about them. Mm -hmm. So if we say that perhaps they're going to be the most terrible person on the season, we don't know them. Okay, so apologies in advance. Apologies in advance. Um, Let's get into it. Before we do, we have to take one quick pause. Yes, of course. Um, Family, here's the 411. We've been busy lately. Evan's been doing what he's been doing to his foot. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> We've also been very parent busy, like very school busy, musical theater, parent busy, you know, a lot of running around, lots of running around in and out of the house, which can make it hard to eat those delicious, healthy meals from home in that busy time. It can be tough. But listen, we do eat delicious, healthy meals from home because we eat daily harvest. For years and years, we have been eating daily harvest. Uh, We absolutely love it. And they have it all. Like mornings with daily harvest, we're eating the yummiest smoothies or forager bowls, uh, able to access breakfast that takes minutes that's healthy and delectable. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Lunch and dinner, we're eating their harvest bowls, flatbreads, soups, pastas, and then those bites for desserts. Daily harvest is just the best. It's the best. We we genuinely 
fight over what we have constantly. So we always have Daily Harvest in the fridge so we don't get into constant arguments. Exactly. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Uh, Daily Harvest takes the planning, prep, and cleanup out of cooking by delivering our favorite veggies and fruit-packed meals straight to our door. Uh, With Daily Harvest, we're getting tons of plant-based options built on organic fruits and vegetables that are really easy to prep and free of gluten, fillers, seed oils, added starches, and sugars. It really takes the guesswork and effort out of eating food we know is good for us. Mm -hmm. Usually healthy means the same old boring meals, or at least that's how I've felt, but not with Daily Harvest. They've got so many great options for any time of day. It makes it so much easier for me to eat healthy and love it. I genuinely love everything from Daily Harvest, but my all-time favorites are the mint and cacao smoothie. Oh my gosh. It's unreal. So good. Okay. The cauliflower rice and pesto harvest bowl. Oh my God. Un- unbelievable. And I'm recently very obsessed with the cinnamon and banana oat bowl. It's so good. So good. And by using only recyclable or compostable packing when possible, Daily Harvest is doing their part to take care of our earth, which helps me limit my waste. Say yes to healthy habits without the hassle with Daily Harvest. Go to dailyharvest.com slash mom dad and get up to $65 off your first box plus free shipping for a limited time only. That's dailyharvest.com slash mom dad for up to $65 off your first box plus free shipping. Dailyharvest.com slash mom dad. All right. Are Let's do we it. ready? Absolutely. I'm so Let's excited. Let's get back into this part two, mm-hmm. diving into Joey's cast bios. Let's do it. All right. We left off. First lady. I believe Caitlin was the last one we did. Yes, right? our radio chemist. Our oh my goodness. Radio chemist. Yeah, <laughs> oh I mean, it sounds God. like a band. Our gorgeous radio Have you chemist. seen Radio Chemist Live? They were um, absolutely fabulous. Okay, you ready for the next one? Let's do it. Here we go. Kayla. Kayla. Okay, Kayla. Oh my God, she's so cute. Mm-hmm. She's got fun vibes, fun smile. It's a fun smile. It's a fun smile. Okay. I feel it immediately. Oh, you know okay. what it is. Kayla is giving to me. I need to paint this picture for you. Kayla is giving to me musical theater director for a high school. For a high school. And this is why I'm setting the stage for you, okay? That's exactly what she is. (laughs) Imagine this. But this is the specific type of musical theater director that Kayla is. Imagine this. I am in high school. I have a passion for the theatrical arts. But my parents are like, no. Why would you do that? Right. Absolutely no. You're set to marry... Our family, uh, our rich family's best friend's son. This isn't me, by the way. This yeah. is I'm setting this. Okay, I'm like, today. what is happening right now? Okay, <laughs> this is uh, you know someone else in this pretend world, but they're like, I don't want to marry the best friend's son okay. of your rich family friends. Okay, I don't is want this that. In 1432. The- <laughs> what is this? What are you talking about right now? Oh, wait, is it her? Is he just talking about a random person? <laughs> no, this is no. This is a student. Got it. Okay. This oh, is a student, student in the Got high it. school. Okay? Got it. okay, but they're like, Sorry. I want to be part of the theatrical arts, even though my parents they don't believe in me. They mm. think they think it's it, it's ridiculous, and I get Kayla as my musical theater teacher slash director at my high school, and Kayla believes in me. Okay. Okay. Kayla's the person who's just like, it's not going to be an easy road, kid. <laughs> Did she still marry the the rich guy? <laughs> no, this is a high school student. <laughs> no, I know. I'm saying, did the students still rich? Or like, are they? She's like, hey, you should marry the rich no, guy for is, sure, but no, still pursue your this dreams. Is, no, this is still part of my story. Okay, okay this is still it, part it, of the it, story. This is still part of the story. So Kayla's like, it's going to be a tough road, kid. Okay, yeah. like, sure, yeah. things are going to get offered to you, but like, you really want to be in the musical theater arts? Like, you're going to have to dance dance your face off you're gonna have to learn like the stage you're gonna have to dance and so like kayla is there working like the long hours believing in me because no one else believes in me and is like helping me out as i'm like dancing dancing giving it all on the stage and then i make it and i get on broadway and on that opening night guess what my family's not front row it's miss kayla Oh, wow. That's Kayla. God, I mean, there's some repression if I've ever heard it in my life right there. I'm like, this isn't about me Holy or anything. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's like that story has been playing in your head. Except you're not with the rich, uh, the heir to the throne, except you're just with a normal guy. And you're like, I gave up my dreams for this normal guy. <laughs> anyway, but don't okay. You that from, yes, from yes. She, she's a teacher that you remember forever. Like, mi- she is giving me Miss Kayla. Like, mm. but I am getting that musical theater yeah. energy, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, 100%. I get Peloton instructor. 
Okay, actually, but that okay. face is like perfectly just like I know how to like I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's just like yeah. I know how to pose for like I'm energy and everything's good. Yes, I feel like you know similar vein though. Peloton instructor, yeah. and <laughs> musical theater. But they're both energetic, the positive people. Yes, it's energetic. It's like you got this. So we see who she is. Let's see. Guidance counselor. That's basically okay. as close as okay. you can get. You're Listen. basically right there. Oh, oh, oh. And from Hamilton, Ohio. Hamilton? Whoa. <laughs> Come on now. There is some weird kind of like connections there. No, but Look I'm sorry. Guidance counselor. And like yeah. in the description that I yes. gave of Miss Kayla. Yes. Miss Kayla Hamilton counselor. No, I this felt is like that the signs. Kayla was giving yeah. that to me and I yeah. felt it in my soul. 27 yep. okay uh serious relationship for lasted eight years she's 27 that means she's since she was 19 it says by the way outgoing unapologetic big mm -hmm. personality oh no but you're she right wants to so be you... in her soft girl era okay settle down with a man who's ready to have kids Harry soft Potter, girl era it. i found out about that on tiktok harry um, potter shits creek good choices yes yes she loves hanging with her rescue animals okay kayla i love it Shits Creek and rescue animals. I like that. And she was dating perhaps her high school sweetheart. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel very connected to Kayla right now. I mean, it also says that Kayla once stopped traffic to save a baby duckling. Like, wow, that's like this is like my favorite type of person. This is a very this is a caring. This is a caring, caring person who gives a lot. Yes. And let's not forget that Kayla is a guidance counselor. Okay, so this Kayla is going to be the person in the mansion mm -hmm. who is helping the women in the midst of arguments, breaking that all down. Maybe a Susan? A Susan oh, type? Oh, yes, a Susan type. Baby oh, ducklings, uh, Harry Potter. Schitt's those are Creek. very young at heart vibes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so guidance counselor, that's someone who is very selfless. Selfless, useful Will she energy. have the grit? To handle the competition will be the question. Will I'm gonna she be say, too nice? I'm going to say Kayla will be like uh, leave around eighth place. Okay. Because I think she's going to yeah. get a good way in. But I think, yeah, she might be just too. Maybe she's just too nice. Yeah. I feel too like nice. maybe. Maybe. We'll All see. Right. I like you, Kayla. We wish you the best, Kayla. Kayla, I wish you were my guidance counselor in high school because clearly I had some things that I had to work through. That yeah, clearly through. you weren't there to encourage her to pursue her dreams. <laughs> Kayla, if you would have been around when I was in high school, I think you would have encouraged me to pursue my dreams. So we'll be going to therapy over this later. All right, next. Next. Next, we have Kelsey, Kelsey A. A. Okay. Mm. Kelsey A is... Kelsey A is straight from a movie. Kelsey okay? A is an actress that we saw a movie recently, like maybe er, mid 2000s actress. Kelsey A is giving me more like, oh, see, I'm, I'm stuck a little bit between like, am I getting the indie movie actor? No, yeah, she's indie movie rom-com vibes. Right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, indie yeah. rom-com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's like, um, what was the one where they were like in a bus driving around or like not in a bus, but they're like in a van. Speed. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she's in speed. It's Keanu. Yeah, it's, yeah, you, yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. you know that rom-com. You know that rom-com. She's like the younger daughter, younger sister in like a rom-com. Yes. The younger sister who ends up falling in love, kind of 27 dresses energy. There you go. There you go. There you go. But like, she's a sweetheart. She's not, yes. you know, yeah, not the, Cause not she's the got sister. like a, she's got an indie cool look. Yeah. She's she's young. Do you know what? She does look she's young. She's young. She's 23. Kelsey, 100%. This is the energy I'm getting from Kelsey. Kelsey A is the type of person who's like, hey, I'm going to go audition for The Voice just for funsies. I don't really even like singing that yeah. much. And I'm hypothetically standing next to her in line and I've given it my all. You know, you've it's, your it's life. my high school dream. That you spent your life training, getting lessons. Everything. And I'm like, this is all that matters to me. And Kelsey A ends up getting through. The judges are obsessed with her. America's obsessed with her. She gets like top three and she doesn't really give a shit about it. And you it. don't even and get was like, it three was seconds fun. into your song and they're like, next. And Kelsey A is like, it was a really, it was a, I feel like her voice is going to be like this. It was a really fun, amazing experience for me. Yeah, it's very, you know what it is? This per, Kelsey <laughs> hasn't had a lot of like 
tough roads up the hill. You know yeah, what I mean? I Not a lot so. of grind it out. It's a lot of like, you know what? I've, acting seems fun. And then boom, you see her on a commercial and you're like, what the hell? But that's hell? the thing. Maybe things around her in life had been hard, but like Kelsey just kind of has this energy about her that's just like, you know what? Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Things come easy for Kelsey yeah, when it comes so. to uh, getting what she was. She's like, you know, just like, oh, I wanted to try this thing. It was really fun. So then I yeah. did it and it was awesome. So I'm going to say... Kelsey is a singer songwriter but not Whoa. because she wants to be because it kind of fell in her lap mm. like she just was like yeah I threw up like one little rendition of something on TikTok and it absolutely exploded and now everyone is signing me and it's not like really what I want to do but like I'm just going to give it a swing and like I'll just say I'm a singer songwriter but like that's kind of how The Bachelor is for her she's a little bit like I think I'll try yes. and honestly Kelsey will end up being his choice in the Kelsey's <laughs> Kelsey very wins. yeah yeah Kelsey Kelsey's wins. very not interested in this whole process she thinks it'll just be kind of a fun experiment yeah but there's no like I take this seriously and generally yes. those people do really well because the the lead senses their it's, it switches the dynamic. Then the yes. lead wants to, has to pursue them. 100%. And because of that, Kelsey wins. Kelsey wins. <laughs> Whoa. No, I love that. I mean, I just, I, Kelsey feels I'm like that. feeling it in my bones. She, do you know what that is? That smile yeah. and those eyes mm -hmm. are just like, I am cool with whatever, man. Yeah, 100%. Whatever comes, comes. Yeah. Like she's the girl, she would turn down the record deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she really wanted to go to school for psychology. And you're like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're you like, yeah, I mean? being a psychologist would be amazing. But like, you just got the opportunity to get a record yeah, deal. Yeah, but I just don't, I don't know. It's like, doesn't sound very fun. I don't like the idea of touring. Like, I don't know, it's not fun to me. You're like, what? Yeah. She's, you know what I mean? 100%. Cool vibes. Cool I'm going to say 23. Okay, so she's yeah. going to be young. 25. Okay, junior, junior project, project manager. manager. What does that mean? I don't know what that means, but like, you know what? Maybe she's got a lot of projects. <laughs> I, I, had a, I had I was talking to a buddy today and we were talking about parents and he, and I was like, what are your, what does your dad do? And he goes, he's, I was like a project manager. And I go, what's that? He goes, I have no idea. <laughs> He's like, I have no clue. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like, it's just kind of like, there's these titles. You're like, what does this well, mean? Well, that's because it can mean absolutely a million things. A million things. A million things. things. So from New Orleans, um, Kelsey A is really something special. The Southern sweetheart spent most of her childhood growing up in Germany on a military base. Oh, so doubt. Okay. And she's extremely close with a big loving family. Okay. But this actually is fitting in with what my image was for her that she grew up overseas like in Europe that make that is part of it yeah, right and New Orleans is cool you you're born and raised in New Orleans that's really cool well, she lives in New oh, Orleans, just lives now. In New Orleans. She's a, okay. was from the south so she's a project manager in New Orleans where she enjoys taking the streetcar to new restaurants walking around the French market and having uh, a picnic with her friends nah, you guys she's cool hey I feel like we kind of nailed it is this we the did. second one in the row? This By the, the way, I don't You've even... You've been on. You've I'm, been on. I'm actually feeling this energy right now, but I have to say this. I don't know if in uh, part one, we were getting the right vibes or not. I don't remember because I was having so much fun talking with Arden. Uh -huh. I don't even remember yeah, if we yeah, were yeah, nailing them. Kind of blacked out, to be honest <laughs> But with you. I'm feeling very good so far. Yeah. Well, look at this. She hopes to start a nonprofit one day. You know what I mean? So she's like, she gets the record deal and she's like, nah, I actually wanted to start this nonprofit. Like she's just, she's effortless. Is it, she's yeah, it's the effortless. French market, New Orleans. She, look at, she's a 25 year old who says, how, wonders how the world would be different if there was no social media. You know oh what I mean? God. So she, like, what 25 year old really wishes there was no social media? Okay, so there's either two things that are happening here. Either one, she doesn't have a social media and is starting it up just for the show. Or two, she already has tons of followers. She's like an influencer. And, and she's then like, she's like, oh. She's like, wouldn't it be crazy if there was like no social media in the world? It's like and so like, overwhelming. Okay. And you're like, okay. Please. <laughs> Kelsey so she only she... needs 12 hours to plan an international getaway. Kelsey is cool as shit. Mm -hmm. Kelsey's cool as shit. She's going to ruffle feathers though. She's going to ruffle feathers. I was, I was literally just about to say. Joey's going to give her a ton of attention even though she doesn't even try and there's going to be a couple girls that are really trying and can't get the attention and they're going to boil over. Yeah, and she might be like very, very cool, cool, cool and then everyone, again, it might just, the feathers might just yep, get ruffled because he's giving her attention or she kind of has the energy of like, um, you know, oh, well, when I was abroad and everyone's going to be like, stop. Shut up. <laughs> She's going to be like, cheers. You're like, you know, when someone comes back from England and then they like send you an email and it says cheers in the email and you're like, shut up, Derek. 
You went, you went to London for a week, Derek. When Derek goes to don't London. Don't say cheers. And then and they'll say, hey, guys, want to go to the pub later? Hey, man. Derek's like, do you want to You wanna worked me- at Chili's. <laughs> Derek's like, do you want to meet at my flat earlier? Oh, he's going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to the water closet real quick. You're like, hey, man. You're from S- Sacramento. And you worked at, you were a general manager at Chili's. Don't say cheers what's another one it's like cheers or like yeah i guess it would be cheers like oh cheers man you're like dude stop it <laughs> you want bottomless mimosas all right that sounds uh, yeah. great uh, yeah kelsey's gonna go far she's gonna go she's gonna far. ruffle feathers i'd also like to just say right now i think this is the most beautiful cast we've ever had yeah this yep. cast a lot is of lookers. absolutely stunning. And also like really good smiles too. So it's also more than just the like, it's like yeah. everyone's super no, attractive, like but then also energy. like the energy is really popping. Yeah, right. it's okay. absolutely popping. All right. Next. Next. Next we have Kelsey. Okay, okay another just absolutely <laughs> Yeah, another stunner. stunner. Okay, we got Kelsey. Kelsey T. Mm. Now Kelsey though, she gives me mature vibes. You know what I'm okay. saying? She gives me professional vibes a yes, little bit if yes. i'm being honest with you. that top that top is a streamlined top yeah um it's kind of like lawyer who's putting her like who's ha- on lawyer on the weekend energy yeah you know what i mean so i don't know i don't know i'm getting i'm getting 28 Very if, specific. if she's not a lawyer then she's in something like that very <laughs> organized like law. her apartment is immaculate oh kelsey's apartment kelsey you could lick t. the floor kelsey at kelsey's t's apartment, apartment is absolutely perfect she for fun watches those tiktoks where it shows you how to fold perfectly yes. and you know if you open her drawer it's like everything is just all the, it's there's no shirts. They're not laying down. Mm-hmm. They're standing mm-hmm. up. You know when the folds are so perfect, <laughs> the shirts stand. Yeah, well, you know her her she folds her toilet paper like the edge. You know, oh, yeah, for sure. like it's like oh yeah, she makes like a little bow with the toilet paper. Yeah, her 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 apartment slash wherever she lives is so clean, so it's immaculate. Absurd. There's there are absolutely candles everywhere too. Like there's candles everywhere. It smells incredible in her apartment. God, her apartment smells good. <laughs> God, her apartment smells but she so definitely good. has an apartment because she lives in a city. Yes. She's yes. not like you no. know, Missouri. She no. she lives in No, this is New York, Los Angeles. Uh, Chicago. I'm gonna say Chicago. Okay. I I agree with you with the professional energy, but there is no way that this woman is not her face is not on TV. Like oh, that interesting. smile to me, that that just energy, I'm getting host. This oh. Kelsey T screams like red carpet awards host to me. Does wow. she not? Like she works at E. I have to go host. I gotta go. Okay. I gotta go TV host. TV it's host. gonna say TV like, host. Okay. All right. Kelsey T. Actor. Gosh, what is your problem? You got You are like weirdly good at this this time. You've been nailing it. Actor. I mean, that is. <laughs> Remember, that's as close as you can get hold on a second remember the past few that we've done that's the past few bad. cast not even bios in the, and i've not even in the everything. world what has happened maybe you're just you know you're in an era where you're just extremely like tuned in i feel really good about wow this. Uh, okay but no but i'm not right it's uh, she's not a tv no, host. but it's it's clo- uh, to me that's right it's close enough by the way 31 oh okay. and she lives in la okay kelsey yeah. t mm-hmm. hello What's neighbor up? come hang out um 31 so she's one of the women who are i mean gosh she's still so young mm. <laughs> but right, on the right, older right, side right. of this cast this is a very young cast uh-huh um grade a hype woman She's the kind of woman who radiates joy and ambition everywhere she goes. And she likes when lizards crawl into her hands. I like that a lot. Kelsey T likes when wild lizards crawl into her hands. Okay, so maybe she goes on hikes, you know, because LA is a hike. Hiking, by the way, if you're not from LA, people love taking hikes. My biggest Um, question, though, beyond this is I have biggest question. It's a big ember energy there. Big ember energy, our daughter. How, though, often, like, how often do you put your hand out and a wild animal, a wild lizard 
chooses to crawl into it. You probably have to go, you know, it's maybe more of a no, catching no, no. lizard. No, no, she said specifically crawls crawl into, into her, her hands. hands. So Kelsey T. And is it was specified wild lizards. Too, wild so not like lizards. Pet lizards. This is what I'm saying. Kelsey T. has given off some sort of magic energy mm. that literally wild lizards are crawling into her hands. I've never had that. That's never happened once in my life. And and, no. and if it happens, it happens enough to her to where it's, it's a, her it's a fun fact. fact that they often crawl Wow. Beautiful okay. songbirds land on Let's her shoulders see if Joey a while. Crawls into her hands. <laughs> That's very true. Okay. Um, um, Kelsey wants to thank Destiny's Child for getting her through her adolescence. Love. I'm going to say far. Now I'm finally saying it. Yeah, I was going to say you actually say haven't far. said. I haven't said that. No, a lot. you said that Kelsey A is going to go far too. Do you think the two Kelseys are going to go super far? It's going to be Kelsey yes. A and Kelsey yeah, T. Yeah, both of these I feel really good about. Okay. Kelsey I feel a really Kelsey good about team. They both feel really chill too, which I think he'll like. They have chill eyes. <laughs> you do a lot of reading off of eyes. Yeah, I do. I think because you can fake the what rest do you of think, your face. What do my eyes say? Sweet, charming, beautiful, stunning, Thank incredible, <laughs> good mother, best friend, amazing lover. That's just that's just what I'm getting. I'm not saying that like I don't know anything. I'm just saying like amazing just a lover is vibe. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, wow, amazing lover. This one. Um, she okay. I love this by the way. In her free time, Kelsey T loves to have game nights with her girls. Okay, she specifically said game nights with her girls. Kelsey T is a girls girl, girls and girl. we, love, we that. love that. And that means she'll mix well in the house. She probably will be a big fan fave in the house mm. if she loves her girls nights with her girls. Her game nights She's with going her far. girls. Yeah, I'm sensing it. She's going far. I am. She's also... an actor too. Let's be real. Oh, Used to true. mixing it up in L.A. Knows how to be social. Knows how to be amongst a lot of people. Blah blah blah. She's gonna be fun. I also think too. That she is going to be a fan favorite. Yes. I think Kelsey T is going to be... You know what? I'll say Kelsey T will be our number one fan favorite. Okay. Wow. Kind of piggybacked off of me saying she was going to go far for the first time. She's <laughs> like, everything is just like, this person's amazing. This person's amazing. Like, okay, I get it. Uh, yeah, but she does have a vibe about her. There's kind of like an intangible there. It's the it factor. It. We wish you the best. Hope you get some big commercials. Honestly, though, we've been talking about the it factor a lot lately. And I feel like this definitely yeah. it factor vibes. I agree. I agree. Okay, before we move on, we got to yes. take another quick pause. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kelsey T, for that. Thank I'm very you. excited to get to know you. Um, family, it's 2024. You Ooh. know it. I have a word for you all. As everyone is talking about New Year's resolutions and the New Year, New You energy, here's the thing. You don't have to reinvent yourself for the New Year, okay? Just rehydrate yourself. That's all. Just rehydrate yourself with liquid IV. You all know that I am not the best at being on top of drinking water, but I need to be hydrated, okay? It's important. And with liquid IV, I stay hydrated and happily so because it is delicious with three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drinks plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. Liquid IV hydrates two times faster than water alone all in a single sugar-free stick. We love liquid we IV. Love I will be drinking <laughs> some tomorrow morning after this cast bios. Yes, Do not doubt will. that for one second. Uh, yeah, I will need it. And we love that it makes it so easy to hydrate. I mean, the ultimate ease and convenience of, of simply mixing a pre-measured packet into a glass of water. Uh, you can take a liquid IV stick anywhere. Keep them in your car for in between meetings and your gym bag. Jess keeps um, them in her purse and we'll use them yes, uh, when we're out to dinner. And it really does taste delicious. I love their new white peach flavor. It's so refreshing. So good. It's so good. I love the white peach, but I have to say, I think my favorite new flavor is the green grape. It's oh, yeah. So yeah, That one is good. It's so hydrating. It is. Absolutely. That's the is. thing about liquid IV. Delicious. So hydrated. <laughs> um, I could chug that all day and I do. And the other day I was actually the hero amongst our friends because yes, I do keep the liquid IV sticks in my purse and we were all about to have a night out on the town, us and our friends. And I busted those out before we began our night out while we were still at dinner and I was the hero. You're welcome. It's to a little secret friends. to have one kind of during the night out. Yes. 
Kind of big a secret. secret, absolute big secret. You can have them anytime. You are welcome, okay, for that little tip. Again, one stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates better than water alone with three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drinks with no artificial sweeteners and zero sugar with eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. It's non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. And on top of it, it's delicious. Need we say more? Rehydrate yourself for the new year. Grab your liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco or get 20% off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com and use code MOMDAD at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code MOMDAD at liquidiv.com. All right, let's go. All right, on to the next, on darling. On to the next. On to the next. Kyra? We have Kyra. Kira or Kyra. Kira or Kyra, okay. Oh, another mm, just stunner, another stunner, stunner, stunner. Joey, great posture. Hey, Joey, you're welcome. ABC really hooked you up, my God. We got some epic hookups <laughs> here. Um, yeah. Hmm. Kira. Okay, I'm going to say Kira. I'm yeah. so sorry. We'll find out if it's Kira or Kyra as we meet you night one. Um, all right. Mm, what do we think she is or does? I have a very specific one. Okay. A very specific career because I don't know if it's the term is an x-ray technician. Oh. What is okay. it called when you give people x-rays? X-ray tech. I like that. X-ray tech? Yeah, okay. x-ray tech. Because... Kira very, 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 very much looks like an individual that one time I went in because I had to get an x-ray done okay. and I walked in and I was looking a disheveled mess. I had no makeup on. I was sweats. I probably had stains all over my clothes and I walked in to get an x-ray, not thinking much about it. And a woman who looked very much like Kira mm. walked in and I was distraught because I immediately was like very much Twitter painted and I was like, I think I have a crush on this woman uh, and no one told me that I needed to get glam for this yes. opportunity. And so I was in my head the entire time being like, don't you hate it oh, when you get caught in a position where you're under prepared physically this is what i'm and saying the person is like good looking and it's good it's <laughs> not like you're trying to get with them it's just whenever someone really good looking is around you don't you want to be presentable i don't care who you are it's like you just want to yeah. be you want to be like presentable so i mean i don't like that about like our culture like it just we need to change no, you but know I'm saying when you see someone attractive you just dead, you just like i just want you to think i'm attractive too you yeah, know what well, i mean That's i definitely yes i saw this extra tech and like i can't lie to you i was very very much i was flustered yes. i was like i might have a crush on this person i was a little you know and i um was so disheveled like i i, I really do think i had like food stains on me from eating uh, Jack in the Box in the car right before I got <laughs> right, this right. x-ray. Okay, so x-ray um, tech from Los Angeles. <laughs> so if it says x-ray tech from Los Angeles, then, then I have met Kira before and Kira, I'm so sorry yeah, that I was so disheveled. For the stains. I'm so sorry about the stains. Um, but, you know, mm. but uh, yes, x-ray tech, long, long explanation to say, she also just gives me x-ray tech vibes. She is a nutritionist. Okay. From... Uh, a nutritionist from North Carolina. Very, very. I just, specific. I just want to go all in. I want right. to go in on it. Let's see. Let's, Let's see, see if you're right. Paralegal para Miami. <laughs> Paralegal okay. Miami, Florida. Okay, we, so we I don't know you, right. Kira. Okay, <laughs> but um, <sighs> paralegal. Damn. She okay. Bar, staying at home, playing Sims. Well, okay. Is it afraid to speak her mind? Wait. Where does it say she loves playing Sims? Second line. Oh my God. The fact that that is one of Kira's like main points. Right. You know me lately. I am on a That's... YouTube. I'm on a YouTube kick phenomenon right now, everyone. That how I fall asleep is I go on YouTube and I watch people playing The Sims. And I've never played The Sims once before. Yeah. And I'm obsessed with watching people play The but Sims. But of a Sims voyeur? Yes, one of my favorite watching Juno Birch play The Sims. Just anyone, just check Juno it out. Trust Birch. me, Juno Birch playing The Sims. Just check it out. Okay. Um, uh, Carpe Diem era. Okay, so she's in a like let's rip era. Um, Carpe Diem sees the night, sees the day. 
No, yeah, not Carpe Nocturne. Well, whatever. first of all, I knew a guy, and you know this, <laughs> I knew a guy I worked with in a restaurant when I was a teenager who had tattooed right here, Carpe Nocturne. It's like, seize the night. And he was a party chest. animal. Okay, very, very, it's like a very like Jersey Shore, like vi- mo- uh, Carpe, TV show vibe. To say Carpe to Nocturne. Say, to say seize the night on your chest. So hopefully he probably has children out there somewhere and, you know, he's just <laughs> that guy. Um, she likes a beach day and heading to a comedy show. It's her dream date. I okay. Oh, my God. That's a, that's a great okay. day. Kira likes a comedy show and playing The Sims. I'm feeling very connected to a lot of those, yeah. these cast okay. um, members. Yeah, that's very you vibes. Now, I Dance will movies, say... Dance movies, a classic side to side. Okay. Acts of service is her love language, and she's even written poems for her exes. Ooh. Okay, so she's gonna write a poem. Write poem That's thing. gonna be the entrance. Is gonna be the yeah, poem for there sure. You, duh. There you go. Now, so paralegal loves a comedy show, loves playing The Sims. Carpe diem loves going out to bars. This is a dynamic person. Yes. We're a paralegal, so we're like serious yep. work business during you the day. Read legal documents all day long. Yes, that's super. I think intense. That's what a paralegal does is they like prep the documents for lawyers. So it's like it's you're super literally intense. just like looking at documents all day. Super analytical. Yeah. And then at night, likes to, likes to go out and party. Have fun. So okay. dynamic. But I have to say that I don't know what it is that there's something about. The whole act of service, love language, she writes poems, that feels like they're letting us know about night one. Mm-hmm. We're not getting hints about like getting to know her later. Agreed. I could be wrong because sometimes they mess with us in that way, yeah. but that's just the energy I'm Agreed. getting. All right. But Next. she's stunning and yeah. paralegal, badass, plays The Sims. May your DMs be full and may you, we'll see you in paradise. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Next. Next. Lainey. Lainey. All right. All right. Lainey is absolutely a hairstylist or an esthetician. Lainey um, is like chit chatting with me. I'm in the chair. I Ooh, see. I like that. I see the long, glorious hair. So it and the makes. And kind of the stance. Yeah. So it makes me think hairstylist, but you know what? Also, Lainey has amazing brows. So Good definitely brows. could be, you know. A in that world, a, b- a brow statistician. Um, but also the energy that I'm just getting from Lainey just immediately is she's like my hairstylist, esthetician, BFF friend um, who there's going to be drama. Yeah. Because there's always some boy troubles. <laughs> there's something about Lainey that's screaming to me like Lainey had an unreal time in college. Like Lainey was <laughs> lit in college okay okay she went to some of the biggest frats and just had some of the biggest was at some of the biggest parties okay i don't know what it is i'm getting that energy too okay i think i love esthetician and hairstylist you kind of you kind of ripped that and i was really hoping i could kind of find that i'm just but i'm just telling you there's just something about laney's energy that laney to me it's i just see her being like my the friend of mine Who's like, yeah, fuck boys, right? But is always kind of jumping into a relationship. Uh-huh. And I'm always like, oh, Lainey, I don't want you to get hurt again. And she's like, no, I definitely won't. And then there's a drama. Mm. That's that's what I'm feeling. There's a problem. There's a maybe, I don't know. That there's something right now that I'm just feeling. Okay. I'm feeling crier. Whoa. I'm feeling crier. Whoa. This is our crier of the season. Wow, I love that guess. <laughs> I don't see that at all, but I love that. I do, do her does she not kind of a little bit look like she's about to cry in this photo? Yeah, but she'll never cry. You know what I mean? It's I feel like the look tears like are it. right here. They're right at the because edge. Because it's just I mean, this is an overwhelming photo shoot. This mm. is a big day. Like this is a lot going on. I probably would cry during this photo shoot. Be like, okay. oh my gosh, this is a big moment. Okay. I'm just telling you, I'm saying I'm saying the crier and we've got some drama, but not drama in the way that like we have a, a problem starter drama in the way that like she's going to get emotional about some stuff. I'm getting shy. OK, I'm getting Lainey is uh, really pretty and sweet, mm-hmm. but she's not really built for this process. She's not outspoken. OK, she had a great time in college because that was like. Her like getting away from the small town and she ripped and partied and had had fun. But now in this dynamic, she's not going to, I feel like it's going to be a little too much. All right. I think she's going to be shy. Let's see what Lainey Realer. is. She's not shy. Okay, never mind. 27. 
She's a realtor. Of course you're not shy. Okay. Lainey is an adventure seeker. And here at the Bachelor yeah, Adventure, uh, she will find... Positive oh. bubbly personality. Okay, you guys, I tried something. I saw her face and I didn't want to judge. I thought, this is bubbly, but I'm going to go the opposite. Infectious heart of gold. Heart of gold. Um, Big Polish Greek family. Parents have been married for over 30 okay. years. She's hoping to find a love like her parents have. She lives for a, for a good happy hour. Look at this. She's looking for a man who is emotionally available and mature. She's tired of all the situation. So she's been. She's tired of all the situationships. Yes, big time. Evan, I literally just. I know said you're. You're on a, you're on a I am wild. like. I am feeling. I mean, is there is there a moon in like Libra somehow? Am I in. connected right now with like my like? Where's my my moon is in Scorpio? Is the moon also in Scorpio? Because I am feeling very psychic right now. Because her being tired of all the situationships, I literally said she's the type of person who's. I'm going to be like, hey, Lainey. Yeah. It's going to be okay. Like, don't get back into it. And she's just like, oh, it's going to be good. Fuck boys. And then we're just yes. Mm. This screams to me. I I believe that what I said earlier is going to be correct. Saying someone who's emotionally available, mature, we're either going to have from Lainey, um, if we get to know her better, a story about her exes. Someone was like cheating, some or, drama. Or was with her for a while and then dipped out, yep. let mm -hmm. her on. We're going to have a story during a date. Or she's going to have, you know, there's going to be some big emotional bumps in this. Now, Lady doesn't mess with sharks any under any circumstances. Now, I'd love to meet someone who does mess with sharks. I mean, you know, I, I don't think that's a common I mess thing with to sharks? mess with. No, you, 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 we, we love a shark. I we don't mess with sharks. Yeah, but I love a shark. Well, we appreciate them. Yeah, I But like, I'm not like playing them. with sharks. You know her what I mean? and Blake aren't going to work out if no, she uh, Blake Blake Moines you know if mm -hmm. for some reason he becomes a bachelor next, for some she, reason at all he's a, somehow associated with this it's not gonna work out if he comes back to paradise again um, all right Lainey lives for a what good do we think how long we hour. think this is Lainey's another one that I'm feeling a little bit like goes home pretty quick I think yeah. that we have maybe um episode three she's gone okay. I think maybe episode two we have some drama with Lainey but again not in a way that I think that there's any villainous drama in a way that there's like some emotional turmoil that goes mm. on okay well you think she's a crier so it's well, also again saying that. that she's got a really bubbly personality it says positive but the thing is at the end of the day too what you have to remember um, whenever someone says that or whenever it's said that it's like ooh, well, is that well what the opposite? becca used to always bring up is that she would say that you would fill out things about yourself yeah so are so you, you it's like i one. am this am i a heart of gold does yeah. that does that mean what i ever say that about myself like, no i'll say this probably if becca was reading this right now becca would be sitting here and say oh it said that she said she has a heart of gold she wrote that and that's gonna be a pass a heart of soot. But then the question is, how much is the producers now and yeah, how much massaging. is them still filling okay. out these forms? I'm not 100% sure. Mm, I don't know. All right. Well, we shall see. We shall see. Okay. Before we move on to um, our next cast member, we have to take one last quick pause. Um, family, I am, oh my God, I am so, so excited, so excited to chat with you all about Nutrafol. So here's my thing. Somewhat recently, I have had numerous people in my life who I am very close to, who I also trust very much, who started Nutrafol, and they have been raving about their experience with it, and I have been seeing the results over the past few months, okay? And so, I obviously am going to be hopping on board using Nutrafol, and I am so, so excited to get started. So excited. Um, here's the thing. Hair thinning impacts a lot of us. In fact, over half of us will experience hair thinning at some point in our lives. It's not only common, it's just normal. So, join the over 1 million people who are doing something about it with Nutrafol. Hair thinning is complicated. The problem is it's actually much bigger than your hair alone. Like your skin, hair is a reflection of your health and internal factors can impact the way your hair looks, feels, and grows. Nutrafol's whole body approach multi-targets underlying root causes like stress, hormone fluctuations, and nutrient gaps for visibly thicker, stronger hair. And again, these numerous people who are close to me, the results have been incredible. And also I've just been seeing Nutrafol so much over the past year and yeah. it's blowing my mind the results that I've seen for people. Like everyone raves about Nutrafol. Yeah, well Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement with over a million people seeing thicker, stronger, 
faster growing hair with less shedding. Uh, I'm just starting at two and I'm really excited to be yeah, honest. You all us. know my journey. <laughs> Thinning hair is different for men and women. So a one size fits all approach doesn't really cut it. Uh, Nutrafol has multiple formulas that are tailored to give your hair and what it needs to grow based on your biology, life stage and lifestyle factors. So take their hair wellness quiz at Nutrafol.com for a personalized hair health plan based on your specific root causes. It really is just incredible how tailored it is to you. And I didn't know that about Nutrafol until I took the quiz. It's physician formulated with drug-free ingredients. Listen, while many supplements rely solely on ingredient studies, Nutrafol clinically tests final formulations to ensure their efficacy. In clinical studies, 72% of men saw more scalp coverage after taking Nutrafol men's hair growth supplement for six months, and 86% of women saw improved hair growth after taking Nutrafol women's hair growth supplement for six months. That's incredible. I mean, those are some high numbers, people. Genuinely, I have seen incredible results from the people that I know who have been taking it and I cannot wait for us to be diving into it. Yes, yes, yes. With Nutrafol, building a hair growth routine is simple. Purchase online, no prescription or doctor's visits required. Free shipping and automated deliveries ensure you'll never miss a day. See results in three to six months. Take the first step to visibly thicker, healthier hair. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering our listeners $10 off your first month subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol com and enter the promo code mom dad find out why over 4500 healthcare professionals and stylists recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair Nutrafol.com spelled n-u-t-r-a-f-o-l.com promo code mom dad that's Nutrafol.com promo code mom dad i'm so excited for us to start our Nutrafol journey let's go yes 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 Okay, next, 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 next we have Lauren, Lauren. Okay. who is the sister? The sister of Allison. Allison. Can you Allison? go back and check Let's quick? Let's go back real quick. Okay, everybody, if you remember from episode Allison. one, Allison, it said in her bio, Lauren's, sister. Lauren's sisters, we've been waiting for Lauren. Okay. Okay. Now, Allison, I'm looking back, Allison was a realtor. Uh, and we yeah. believe that there was going to be Drama. sister tension. Our prediction was that Allison is 100% the sister who's like, yeah, um, we absolutely, um, Lauren and I love each other, yeah, but like actually but like, frenemies she, vibe. she like, she is the facilitator of the frenemies. Yeah. Like Allison kind of gets away with everything. And Lauren is just like, yeah. oh my God, here she goes again. <sighs> I'm still feeling that way. Yeah, I don't know. Because though. I'm gonna be real with you. Okay, because because Allison's photo was definitely a little more like in the expression. You see a the little more like angst. mischievous yeah. looking. A little more like, okay, here comes trouble. Ooh. And Lauren looks a little more like when Lauren and Allison go out, it can either be like a very powerful dynamic duo <laughs> that supports each other. Yeah. And can get like any guy at the bar or it's like World War Three over the same guy. Yeah, but think about this. Don't you remember that it said in the bio for Allison that they've dated the same guy before? Yeah. So the question is, is that like a fun fact that they like? Are they like, oh, my God, yeah, we dated the same guy or, or do they hate each other for it? Lauren. Lauren, I'll just say this. OK. Lauren usually gets the guy and it drives Allison mental. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, my because prediction. Because Lauren's eyes, yeah. I know I'm a big eyes guy. I read through the <laughs> God, eyes. But did. Lauren has that, like, Allison, you are so pretty. You said that about Allison. I know. Now seeing Lauren, <laughs> I'm realizing I was totally wrong. Because I said that. Yes, you but 100% now, but no, 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 said no, no, that. No, hear me out. Okay. Now seeing, compared to Lauren... The mischievous is an Allison. And I'm not saying this. I'm not. Lauren doesn't say, Allison, you're so pretty in a mean way. Oh, she means she it. She means it. And that drives Allison crazy because Allison <laughs> feels like a like a competition there. And then she's like genuinely complimenting Allison where Allison feels like it's got to be rooted in a competition. And Lauren's like, no. And it it's just there's and there's always a competition. I think Lauren doesn't think about the competition. I'm going to tell you this right now. 
if these two are on screen, Allison and Lauren, and it's all good the whole time, I'll be bewildered. Be wildered. Like there everything about Allison's bio screams there's going to be drama. Yes. I think See, I'm getting like, you know, Lauren is the older sister energy and Oh, wow. is more serious. Um, and gets more frustrated with Allison because Allison's a little more of the like unhinged, like, uh, you yeah. know, we party. I think like in my heart, I believe that I believe that Lauren had the boyfriend first and then Allison started dating him after. Like definitely <sighs> Lauren had the, that was her mm. boyfriend first. And then Allison, Allison had, violates because, codes. Because that's a very, di- that's a huge question mark, by yeah. the way is whose boyfriend when it said they both ended up dating who the same first. guy who who dated him first that's the big question who made it weird who made it you weird know what i mean because it's kind of like the, the one who dates second how did you date him second the whole thing are so they cool with it my guess is actually this i think like if there is competition com- competitive energy between these two if they are do they do date the same type of guy i think in this scenario i believe that normally allison ends up with the guy, right? Okay. Allison, this is so sad, by the way. That they're probably just like best friends Seriously. listening to this being like, fuck you guys. Like, we're happy campers. But I'm guessing that like Allison's normally the one who might be the one who runs away with the guy. Mm-hmm. I think in this situation, I think that um, Joey is going to like Lauren more and it's going to make Allison crazy, like you said, but I think it's going to be an unusual dynamic for them. Got I think it. Allison's going to come in being like, well, yeah, I know that I'm going to walk away with him, but then I think Joey's going to like Lauren more. It's going to be drama. Okay. I'm going to say right now um, that it says right now that Allison is a realtor. Lauren has to be a realtor. Like I, I, I believe, I 100% believe that she's also a realtor. Okay, let's I think see. that they do the same shit. They go the same places and they love each other, but there's fucking competition. Okay. Here we go. Show me. Okay, so she's, the, she's and I think Allison's twenty six or seven, so 26. slightly older. Twenty eight registered nurse. Registered okay, nurse. Okay, so I was wrong. <laughs> They're not the same. Brains, beauty, and hilarious personality. Oh, it said hilarious. That's a big question. That's a huge question mark for me. Did Lauren say she's hilarious, or do we have a hilarious contestant? Uh-huh. Voice um, texter, babe. That's you she's an avid voice texter oh that's the only way i text shout out lauren finds cleaning to be therapeutic that i don't relate to but <laughs> <laughs> whoa serious punk face spikes and chains included <gasps> hot wow. hot 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 one thing lauren can't stand is men with bad hygiene she wants a guy who takes care of himself true romantic she loves attending group fitness classes and music festivals. She's also very close to her family, including her sister, who is also vying for Joey's heart. Lauren loves a man who's motivated. One thing Lauren can't stand is men with bad hygiene. She wants to get to hear true magic and think she's single because her standards are high. Let's see if you know what I'm reading this bio. And now I think that Allison goes far and Lauren doesn't. As I, I read, this I, I, bio. Just said, I just felt the same thing. I felt the exact same thing. This yeah. feels kind of surfacey. Yeah. Allison's going to go farther. Yeah, I think because we, Allison's going to have a little spice and she's going to bring a little drama and there's going to be a little moments yes. and there's going to be like a she said this and then he's going to have to call her and go, Allison, did you really say that? Yeah. Where Lauren's just too chill. Yeah, I think Lauren's gone early and Allison stays for a long okay. time. And I also think that they will both end up for sure. Arden brought this up um, last episode, but I think that they 100% will end up on Paradise together. No uh, questions of asked. Of course. But, and I will say this. I think... Allison goes now. Now that I read this bio, I think Allison goes far. I want to swap it. I'm saying Allison goes far yeah. on this season and Lauren doesn't. But I think on Paradise, Lauren will sweep. Oh, I like that. Or yeah, Lauren I will, agree. Lauren will meet the love of her life on Paradise. I agree. And it'll be in drama Lauren, for Allison. There's going to be a lot of... Lauren's going to be... A lot of people are going to take her on dates. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's going to be quite a few guys that come down and be like, I was looking. I was really hoping Lauren was here. Logan is going to slide into her DMs. Oh, I love that idea. I don't know. Her saying that she went through a serious punk phase. She loves music festivals. Uh, Logan is going to slide into okay. that woman's DMs. I love this. I love <laughs> Just this. Just making some These are great calls. These are great calls. You're on, a, you're on a one right now. Thank you so much. 
Okay, oh let's. Okay, <laughs> we're just realizing that we've only done like ten, and we still have like twelve more. Not ten people. We've done like five people. We are so bad at this. We ap- <laughs> okay. we apologize to everyone. Okay, so we're gonna try to do- go a little quicker. Okay, yes. let's, we're gonna right. go a little bam, bam, we're bit just quicker. Be like, bam, bam, bam. Ow. Sorry, bam, bam, ladies. Bam. Sorry, ladies. But um, yeah. let's 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 okay. keep diving next. in. Next, 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 next. We have Leah. Okay, Leah. I see, remember I Leah. See Leah. Leah. I feel bad. I don't remember it's if it's Leah, know. Leah, but we met. Remember, we met Leah or Leah. So sorry. Like um, in person? No. When okay. this this was um, who we met uh, after the final rose. Remember the audience, the quote unquote oh. audience member who oh. got pulled for Joey. So I remember that she is from Hawaii. I don't remember what she does. Do they say? I feel like they said. Mm. Um, what does she do? Let's guess. Even if, even I, if I feel like we, said, we, I feel like we already, they already said, and I. Well, forgot. we don't know now, so we can still guess. I'm maybe gonna say, I'm, I'm, gonna maybe say I'm project it. manager because who knows what that? Maybe, is. maybe you didn't say, and I'm losing my mind. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. It would have um, been kind of weird for them to say, right? Do they normally say like, "Hey, this is Leah, and she's a project manager from Baltimore." It's like I don't remember. That doesn't seem like something they'd say, but that's what I'm saying. Project manager from Baltimore. Okay, well then I'm gonna say. Um, no, I'm she's a recruiter. Oh, that's a good one. Recruiter. She's a recruiter. I'm gonna go realtor. Another realtor. Okay. Account manager. Oh, okay, okay. That's, that's close. close to a project that's manager. Close to a project manager. <laughs> Twenty three. Oh, she's young. Okay. Um, that is young. Whoa. So we did get her energy. I really liked her energy during the show episode. I felt mm. like she was very fabulous. And the whole situation was when like. When they bring someone out, is that a sign that they're going to do well? Or is that just random? Don't, don't you don't... remember that she got a very special gift where she got like in an envelope something that was like, oh, you're going to get something that's going to change the oh, game for yeah. you. So we're wondering is it going to be like, is it going to be something wild? Like she gets the first impression rose automatically. Mm. But then, Oh yeah. That was the whole, yes. Okay. Now it's coming back. You remembering it now? Yes. So we don't know what is going to happen for her. Like on night one, change the game forever. (laughs) You're getting two tickets to the LA Dodgers. And you're like, okay, Jesus. Um, <laughs> I'm like we we've talked about maybe that she gets some uh, a, a good amount of one on one time like you know you know twice the amount of one on one time, um, but I think maybe God it's all quite fuzzy. She was on the canoe paddling team in high school, and she loves cliff diving. She's a cliff diving enthusiast, so she's Damn. a so she's an adventure outdoorsy. You know, she wishes she could be a fish for a day. She's, she's a mermaid and thinks she was a sea creature in another, yeah, another life. Okay. okay, well, I think he's gonna really like that. And a he lot. lives in Hawaii, they both live in Hawaii, we and she's f- an adventure goddess. Yeah, I love this. I feel like this could actually be like, or is it too obvious? Is it too? Does he know her? Maybe they live on the same island, maybe, maybe they party together. He's like, Leia, what's up? Maybe, maybe they hooked up, maybe they have kids together. <laughs> <laughs> big swings <laughs> that's what we do here um yeah like you said it might be too obvious like it's like so yeah, like it's so okay, perfect like, it's, it's like she's hawaii. cliff diving she's in hawaii diving. next door to him she has never been one for casual dating she's ready to be wifed up and is All a right. sucker for big romantic gestures okay it, to me she's either going real far or like week night two or out. Yeah. yeah okay i don't think she can go home night one because, because of I the bet game there's changer, a, there's a, some sort of thing that she's given. I'm gonna say she's gonna go home only because it's already too much pressure. Like you know how that you goes. know what I mean. Yeah. He, she she's right away there. He feels the pressure to like need to like her because she was given the gift and the whole thing. It's too yeah. much pressure too early on. She's going home. All right. Next. Next. Lexi. Lexi. Hmm. Oh my God, Lexi was so popular in high school. Yeah. Lexi was so popular yeah. in high school, but like super popular. But like, wasn't like um like I picture Lex Lexi going to like a very like high end educational school. Like Lexi went to Harvard and was super popular and was like the class president. Why are you laughing? <laughs> high end educational school. No one's ever talked about Ivy League by saying that. <laughs> now you always say it's Ivy League. You don't say high-end educational <laughs> no, school. Saying, no, I'm what saying, is that? I'm saying 
Lexi's high school was like a high end educational like <laughs> he was still where'd you go to school I went to one of those high end okay, well, educational clearly, schools clearly I didn't go to one okay but that's yeah Lexi, she, she went to yeah I see what you're I'm saying. saying Lexi was like the popular girl was the most popular girl at a school that was like everyone's trying to get into an Ivy Lexi League. Lexi went to a school where she was the, head the, of the building debating. was built in 1720. Yes. And, 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 the, and it's stone. Yes. And there's big gates. Yeah. And, and, and she like 1000% is um, the head of the debate team, class president. Another Saltburn vibe. A big Saltburn energy. Big, big Saltburn big, energy. like lounging around the man. No, but see, I don't get that. I don't oh. get the lounging around. I get the money of Saltburn, but Lexi is like, God bless, very like type A, is on top of everything. Like I said, class mm. president, you know, maybe wants to be an elected politician one day type energy. Like, or she wants to marry into like a family that is in the political. I Like, that's the vibe I get from Lexi. And Lexi is going to be someone in the house who uses a big vocabulary. Like if I was Lexi's roommate in the house, I'd be like, I don't understand like, the, word, the words you're saying. I do a lot of like, hey, bro, it's so gnarly. And I say like constantly, like, <laughs> like that would drive yeah, yeah. Lexi, Lexi nuts. <laughs> Lexi doesn't understand when her friend says personality overlooks. She's like, no. I need a man to be beautiful. Yeah. She wants an absolute hottie. The, no, but it's not even hottie. Beautiful. Like the guy, it's not like he can't, he needs to be pretty as well. Like yeah. it's, it's like he needs to kind of hold a standard of, you know what I'm saying? As far as work goes from what I'm saying is I'm very much just picturing like, you know, a high school movie. <laughs> so I can't get past her being class president. So for work, she's the class president. I love that. <laughs> Joey falls in love with her and then she leaves. Oh, okay. Okay. He's a little attracted. He's like, what are you? And then she, 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 he never feels like she really is that into him. And he's like, it's driving him mental. All right, work. All right. I'm going to say politician, even though I know it's not going to say okay. politician, but that's, I can't get past it because I can't get past class president. Ready? Yep. Ready. Digital strategist. 30. Atlanta, 30. Okay. 30. Okay. Digital strategist. It um, says she's a sweet soul. <laughs> like graduated at the top 1% of her MBA summer program at MIT. I got to do a fucking lap right now. I got to do a lap. I got to do a fucking lap right now. You guys. Whoa. A high end. Hey, edu hey, it says, it says hey, she went to a high end me. educational school. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hire Whoa. me. Someone hire her to do this. Hire me. I normally is. suck at it. So don't hire me. But for some reason, wow. I'm crushing it right now. <gasps> Look at that. Top 1% of her of MBA. MBA. So she's at so MIT. Top 1% of her master's program at, at MIT. MIT. Yeah, you said MAT. MAT, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Top 1% at Matt. Um, damn. She moved over 15 times during her childhood. 15 times? That's like once a year. She loves to play poker. Of course, because she's a genius. Yeah, when it's, it's nice to play poker when you win a bunch of money because you're super smart. But she can't live without her self-tanning moves. Our life's goal is to run a marathon. I feel like that would be easy for someone who's like, this. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like, that's your like, goal? I'm like, like Lexi, how, your I'm life sure you've goal? done 30 already, I figured. Um, wow. It says okay. she's a sweet soul, though. Digital which, strategist. I don't even know what that means. It sounds smart. I think it actually now I'm seeing sweet soul again. Don't know if she included that. Um, so wildly, so wildly smart. I think she's going to be a little shy. I don't think she's going to go far. Okay. Well, unless she's one of those ones that like, you know, she, it does take a while to open up and we don't really get to see her as an audience, but then she's around for a long time. And then all of a sudden towards the end, we really get to know her well. Yeah. But I'm going to say, God, she's just, I mean, she's absolutely beautiful. She's absolutely a genius, clearly. Mm. Um, but I feel like maybe she might be a little too shy unless she's, she's doing the analytics of this show the whole time. Yeah. And she's like, I know. That if I do this, yeah, maybe she's coached. Maybe she's oh, one of Bachelor shit. Clues's students. I like that idea. I like that. Idea. I'm not sure. Right. I'm very confused by. I think by she it. goes decent. 
And I think he gets heartbroken by her because she leaves. Okay. I could see her leaving. Yeah, she leaves. I could see her leaving. All right. All next. Right, next. Medina. Oh Whoa. my God, Medina. Medina, did, when were you the main character in a romance novel? I know, honestly. Dude, Medina is... Medina? I mean, I am swept... Consider me swept off my feet, Medina. Medina <laughs> is the character in the movie who makes the king lose his mind in order to get her as the prince as the queen you know what i mean like he's the guy that like goes to war over her it's like helen of troy helen of troy Tr he's drunk <laughs> okay helena of medina medina of troy uh there's like the lighting and the, the hair is like windswept right now I mean, her eyes speak volumes to her me. Her brows say many things. She is so beautiful and energy. Like she's got that. They got that energy. Like, oh, okay, what? Are, I gotta go to Medina's house. She needs soup. <laughs> it's two a.m. You're like, dude, what? You're like, I don't know. She just texted me. She said she's kind of hungry, so I'm just getting up. You do anything getting a bunch of different Medina. foods for her. Where she might like some of it. But she, you know, Medina. I don't know if she'll like it though. Oh, dude, you're way too desperate. No, I just. <laughs> Medina but, said that she's thirsty. And like, yeah, so I'm on my way to her house to, to give her thirst quenching beverages, whatever. I went by the store and I picked up Gatorades and drinks, and hopefully one of those will she'll like one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Medina, Medina is the, the energy that is jumping off this page right now off yeah. the screen is a literal goddess, like is a goddess in a movie. Yeah, not like in a, oh my God, you're such a goddess. Like no, like, actual like goddess. you're an actual yeah, goddess, yeah, yeah, yeah. like literally a goddess. Um, so, but also the look is like, is this villain vibes? That's what I mean. That's what I mean. There's something about her that's like, okay. But that almost feels too obvious. Like, I feel like this is just a pose uh, for Medina. Into our imaginations. I think perhaps. Okay. I'm, okay, so what I'm going to go with work-wise is because it's Medina, um, I'm just going to choose my dream... I call it my dream rom-com career. It's one of my most favorite questions to ask someone that I don't know very well. I go, what would your job be if you were in a rom-com? Because mm. in rom-coms, everyone always has like a kind of interesting, like romantic job. Yeah. So I would love to know. Yeah, like composer. Exactly. You know what I mean? yeah. So one of my favorite questions to ask people would be like, what's your dream job if you were in a rom-com? Or what's mm. your job, excuse me, if you were in a rom-com? Mm. My job, if I was in a rom-com, is that, and I don't know what the technical term for this is, but a perfumist. A oh, person who makes perfume? Yeah, the person who like literally like creates the scents, like owns mm. a perfume, you know, like a boutique perfume shop. It's like I sit here and I mix sandalwood. Yeah, I with, really like, doubt tobacco. it's a perfumist. <laughs> but but, I, but I you mix. also went to a high end <laughs> educational school, so we don't know. <laughs> but I mix like yeah. lilac with like Whoa. sandalwood and see how that feels. And like I spritz it on you, and it's just like, oh my gosh, it's so. I mean, and it's you so, use coffee grounds to cleanse your yes, palate. Yes, Sephora. Okay. And honestly, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, like. It, that there's nothing like more I mean that's one of your senses like smell like mm. come on now that like controls you I like, forgot what we're talking about and how we even got here but I'm, I'm saying that's like it. what she I think oh, Medina is, she does. is a perfumist I'm using my okay. rom-com career God, oh she is your rom-com she's my, my rom-com yeah career she is a um, medical sales rep okay let's see <laughs> ready mental health therapist I mean holy smokes okay Great. She's a okay. beautiful catch with a huge heart. She comes from a close Bangladeshi family. Describes herself as ambitious, loyal, caring. She's passionate about her work. Babe, never been camping. Doesn't see that changing. Love you, woman Medina. after your own heart. There, a woman after my own heart. Look at this though. Big supporter of color coded organization. I wish that mm. was me, but okay. it's not. Uh, she loves to unwind with a face mask and a cup of tea. Is this Instagram for Aunt Katie? <laughs> kind of. Look at this. this Therapist is hoping for a man who's mature, empathetic, and won't be on his phone. This might be Instagram free bestie Aunt Katie. <sighs> yeah. Kind of seeing it now. Face mask and a cup of tea. That's very Aunt Katie. Loves watching the Great Bit British Bake Off. Does she like that show? I don't know. but She loves um, all reality TV, and I would consider that reality TV. What do you think? TV. How long do you think she lasts? 
I can't quite gauge with this profile. It's the, it's the expression. It's the villain expression that's really throwing me off. Yeah. It makes you go, I don't know. Is it all BS, you know? She's super sweet and everyone loves her. Yeah. I'm going to say she's super sweet. The okay. expression the expression was a was a they they made her do a bunch of faces and they used this. Well, no, I think like she knows how to pose. Yeah. Yeah. She's super sweet. No Listen, issue. Though, she's literally a therapist, okay? Yeah. And we know how that can go where then all of a sudden everyone in the house is like Medina, I need to talk to you and then she's working the whole time yeah. and then Poor Medina doesn't get the self care time she needs to to actually have conversations and get to know Joey because she's so busy having to help everybody else in the house as they mm. process through everything. So either she's going to be in a situation where it's just like she yeah. doesn't have that time for herself because everyone else is draining her, or she uses that you know the therapy insight. career insight as a way to help process through a very stressful situation. Okay. All right. Because we saw, you know, Charity was in like the mental health field, I believe. Yeah. And we saw how incredible Charity navigated yeah. everything. I'm going to say middle of the pack. All right. She'll leave kind of halfway through the season. All right. I don't see long term. Well, Next. we shall see. Next. Maria. Maria. Interesting. Now, we'll zoom up here. From Med okay, so we had Medina who was giving like this kind of look like very... Mm. Is she going to be a villain? M Maria is giving us a very unsure expression right Maria's now. Maria is giving me, um, she's real chill and she's just not going to say anything. She's going to get there and she's not going to say anything. And then she's just going to be like, yeah, I just never got my, I never like found my place to say anything. And I never, I just was sad that I never got to say anything to him and he never pulled me. And then she's gone night one. Oh, you think night one? Night one. It's just the expression. It feels like, I don't know why. I f Okay. I feel like they they chose this photo intentionally because I can guarantee you Maria is like took a million other photos that she didn't look this unsure in the other pictures. And yeah. this specific picture, she just like looks unsure and a little caught off guard. Yes. And I'm like, I know that there are other photos where she didn't look as unsure and caught Maria's off guard. I can so shy. Like, no, I, I, that's what I'm saying. You I think, think it's all BS because of the photo. I think it's a fucking photo and they're in, it's a specific photo and they're choosing that one and it's not the case. Mystery. Yeah, I feel like Maria's the first person that I'm kind of having a hard time. Not She's not giving us a lot with the expression. But she also simultaneously is giving us so much. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't get a read. But the one read I am feeling I'm getting is just kind of like, Night one gone because she can't get time. Like, it's just as simple as that. She's just, you know, there's always like a, a handful of them where you're like, they never really tried. They overthought the process. Yeah. And then they just are gone. And you're like, yeah. oh, shit. Okay. I think the photos throwing us off. I think Maria's going to end up going really far. Ooh. And I think that via the top, it's a very specific style choice. So I'm going to guess that she is in retail for this is this is our boutique owner. Am I finally gonna get my boutique owner? Please, yeah. for the love of God. Like this Ooh, boutique you know, owner. Like, I like this, this. Is, this is definitely one of the shirts from the boutique that she owns. Okay. Uh, like like this, the, please give me my boutique owner. What does Maria do? I agree. Okay. I agree with all you. All right, all right. Let's see. Let's see. What does she do? Executive, Executive assistant, assistant 29. Oh, Canadian. <laughs> Canadian. Oh, I love a Canadian. We love a Canadian. They're always really nice. I realize that I have not been making any guesses about location. That's true. We I should, haven't been we doing that. that. Yeah. Well, I know. I'm disposable over it. Disposable <laughs> camera photo shoot. I actually love a sucker for those. A disposable camera. Yeah. I'm a sucker for a disposable camera. Hey, everyone out there, it's fun. Keep it with you. Buy one from CBS or whatever your local, you know, drugstore is. Get a couple of them shoot around every once in a while then you'll find it and then you'll be like oh my god we should develop this it's a very fun thing look at this sorry to interrupt your yeah forget what i said everybody <laughs> delete edit that out sorry to interrupt your, yeah just ignore your, what i my little camera moment rant. my camera bit was gold sorry so sorry it says it says Maria is a bold, outgoing woman what? who's not afraid to speak her mind. I told yeah, you. Yeah, but is that like her representation of herself? Because sometimes what we'll do is we'll project what we wish we were. I understand that. But I know I think that that photo f uh, fully threw us off. Okay. I think she's going to be bold. Okay. That's what I'm feeling. 
The Canadian beauty is done with short-term fling situationships. Another situationship moment. Lucky for Maria. Oh, I love this. Lucky psychic. for Maria. A psychic reading recently left her thinking that Joey could be her future husband. Oh my God. Time will tell if the psychic's foresight was right. I mean, I hate to say this, but like, um, hey, psychic, tell me something interesting. A psychic reading recently left her thinking Joey might be her, could be her future husband. You're going on a dating show. Obviously, he could be your future husband. Okay, but maybe I'm the psychic. Saying, no, like, maybe maybe, we, maybe the psychic got 100 said Joey oh. will be you. Sh maybe the psychic said you need to go on the Bachelor this coming season. That'd be cool. That's your husband. That'd be cool. Okay, so that's all I'm saying to you is you're just out here making guesses and you never know what the psychic said. I'm obsessed with the fact that Maria's out Wait, here going to a psychic, she and has I a really black hope. Black belt in karate, taekwondo. What? Dang, that's wild. Black belt? That's like 10 years of work, karate. So she'll fuck you up. <laughs> Dude, okay. All right. A love for a big plate of spaghetti. Who doesn't love that? Horror movies. Love horror movies. I was going to say, love a psychic. She's a badass. Likes a horror movie. But again, are these kind of surface level topics? I think I they don't might know. be. They might be. Embraces I'm passion. still going night one. Gone. Night one. Hmm. I haven't said that yet. Night one goner. Dude, this is actually just... kind of bizarre. Like it says that she wants like she says they say in the the bio she's an obsession with horror movies. She wants a man who can embrace her passions and while Maria loves horror, hopes Joey won't leave her ghosted. And then in fun facts, it says Maria so is obsessed really with horror movies. Into horror. So is Maria going to show up and be our kind is she going to be our first? I don't think we've ever had this on the show before. Is she going to be our first like out of the limo and do something like super spooky? I'm still thinking I'm still feeling like they're reaching here like the double horror yeah, thing yeah it might like, be a reach they're, they're, just, a they're reach. just trying to come up with some interesting stuff it might she's be a gone. reach alright we'll see we we'll wish, see we I really best. hope that we get like some like very horror themed and like limo entrance oh, that, I, I would, would love appreciate that, that. I, I would love, we love that. a themed entrance love a themed entrance and I would love a horror themed entrance because I don't think we've ever seen it before no that's actually very true alright next Next. All right. Next. Marlena, Marlena. cakes. <laughs> she makes cakes. I love that. Oh my dude, cakes. <laughs> cakes. Mm. Oh my god. I've yeah, just yeah, cakes. yeah. Maybe I'm being inspired from Maria talking, or who was it? Medina. Medina. Says Sorry. something about the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> so maybe I'm stuck on that right now. Uh interior designer. Oh, that's very good. That's a, that's what she is. New York. Marlena knows the most incredible place to get like a great vase. Like she'll be like, oh my God, there's this incredible place. Yeah. It's it's behind this old shopping center. You have to knock three and times. His name's Jeffrey, and mm -hmm. he does the most incredible vase. And you're like, I've never thought about buying a custom vase before. But now she I She just knows elegant shit that you don't know. Yeah. You know what I she mean? She knows everything elegant that you don't know. Let's see. Okay. What is Marlena? Finance writer. Oh, Whoa. 26. Finan what is a finance writer? I think that's like a finance journalist. I think that's someone who like writes about finance. So wow. like she's like. That is, that feels very, oh my okay. God. Fun facts. Marlena loves to read books by candlelight. Nothing makes Marlena happier than puppies. Me and Jess are on that track. Ooh, when golf. Marlena golfs, she always drives the golf cart. Okay, so she's in control. But she also then golfs. Love that. I. But she, but she's looking for. Look at that. She wants to be. Can't look. She's looking forward to her soccer mom. I'm area. just gonna say this right now, everybody. She's a finance writer and mm. she loves to golf. What I'm saying to you all, and she loves a puppy. What I'm saying to you all is, if Jason Tartik does end up going back on the show, um, and is on. Uh, oh, paradise he's gonna reach out yeah yeah a hundred percent okay this is this yep 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 you know joey is not looking forward to when she looks through his finances <laughs> you don't think joey's not because of the money he makes but because she's so like every dollar goes in the right category yeah. and and joey hits me as a guy that like it's it's just his quickbooks are a little all over the place. Yeah, I don't even... And I've never even opened a QuickBook, so... I'm just saying she is so dialed <laughs> yeah. that she's going to be like, sweetheart, can we look at it? And he's like, again? And she's like, I just want to make sure that, like we said last month, it was going to be dialed. 
I'm just a little nervous. Joey about it. That's doesn't. All Joey doesn't scream investments to me. No. Which could make them a great pair, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, she's a little like super analytical. He's a little more free love and teaching Hawaiian tennis but vibes. But it also says that she's vulnerability is very important to her. Mm, what do we think? How long? How far do you think she makes it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a little too serious. I don't know. Can you go back to the bio yeah. for me? Yeah. Um, her dream job is to be a parent. And she can't wait to enter her soccer She's not afraid of a man who wears his heart on the sleeve. That's, that's him. Yeah. I will say that. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and look at this, though. In five years, Marlena hopes to be married with two kids and continue fostering rescue dogs. God, love, love, love. So she likes a full house. Yes, loves a full house. But it says she hopes to be married in five years. Married, two kids, foster dogs. I think she in like the analytics we're talking about yeah. is very much like this planned. is my story and it's planned. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I see Joey no. that way. So I don't know if Marlena will go far just because I see him being very much like, let's see where life takes us type energy. And I think he's going to end up being attracted to someone who is more, free more like flowing that. Flowing in the energy. So. Okay. I think so. Yeah. Drives the golf cart is a very specific thing. Yeah. She's in control. Mm hmm. She's organized. She's dialed. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. see. Next. Nat. Nat. Ooh, what do we feel about Nat? See, Nat is salt burn to me. Really? You were saying salt burn earlier. Nat I gives have two me salt, salt burn. burn so far. <laughs> you have, I feel like everything is salt burn. First of all, epic movie, so it's just on my mind. But yeah, no, I've only done two salt burns. Everything Chill. is salt burn. Yeah. Our life is salt burn. It's like how everything was Zelda. Um... I love the name Nat. Yeah, that's an interesting choice. Are we going to see a Natalie next or is does she want to go by Nat? Nat has a complicated relationship with her mother. She mm-hmm. loves her mom, but her mom drives her nuts. And Nat would appreciate some leeway. What if that's true and this is like really hitting Whoa, Nat? This I don't is know. Like, I just, I just, I the eyes, you, I'm think, back to the, I, did I go you, too deep? I think you went too deep. Okay, <laughs> let's just chill <laughs> out then. Sorry, apologies all around. <laughs> keep it, keep it more surface level. Got it. Love the top. Great top. Uh, <laughs> seems nice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, love the background. Peach, kind of a peach background. Over did the work on the set. Uh, sorry. Sometimes, you know, when you get struck, the eyes, when you talk about the eyes, sometimes they strike me. Um, um, Nat. Nat has a lot. I don't know. Nat hits me as a mystery. She has I was a lot. Those say. eyes are. There's a lot she's not saying. Mm-hmm. Nat kind of hits me as she's going to cry. <laughs> Wait, Nat's not the You had crier? a crier earlier. Nat's going to cry. Nat's the crier. Oh, see, I'm not getting that from Nat. What are you getting? <sighs> hmm. Let me zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Absolutely beautiful. Let me see how close we can get. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to zoom in I'm up in to one eye. In her ocular eyebrow. cavity. Stunning eyes. Um... Nat, see earlier I said Allison was a dancer, and now Nat's, oh, interesting. Nat's You're getting the one dancer? who's now really hitting me as a dancer. Wow! Like, uh, like, uh, but like ballet. Oh, like, I like Nat's that. Nat's hitting me like she likes it, but ballet's so gnarly, and it just absolutely drains you. It's just mm. such an intensive thing. And so she does ballet, but there's this mom pressure and she loves it. But like, it's so exhausting and so intense. Yeah. yeah I'm getting, there's a sadness. She has a sadness in her eyes. But it's like the, it's, but it's ballet sadness. It's, she, it's, her it's, feet hurt it's because of the, the shoes. Yeah, exactly. You know, and they got to be on their toes all the time. That's what I'm talking about. And, well, and like, she's just, like composer I just. It's composer sadness. It's yeah. like, it's. Oh, she speaks through her art. Yeah, that's how that's how you get to know her as you see her art. Nat, you you go you talk to Nat at a coffee shop and you're like, I don't really know her, and you go see the ballet and you I know her now. That's what I'm saying. Nat is like Nat speaks through the art. Nat is an artist. Yeah, but like there's a there's like a hey, deepness. Nat, if you're a project there. manager, <laughs> I'm gonna flip a table. Okay, here we Let's go. See what's that? Registered nurse slash okay. professor. 
26 is as a pr- professor in Canada? Nat is beautiful, quirky, and wildly accomplished. Quirky okay. is maybe what we're getting, by the way. Quirky. Maybe there's like a... At only 26 years old, she already earned her master's degree. I became a professor and is a, a successful nurse. Wow, that's absolutely Small town girl wild. ready for adventure. By the way, have you noticed how like accomplished and... Very successful people. I mean, my goodness. Ooh, she, suffer, she suffers from a severe case of FOMO. I don't get that energy. Oh, maybe quiet FOMO? Uh, that is interesting. Broccoli is just the superior vegetable hate that fact for some reason it kind of pisses me off because she definitely didn't like say that they threw that in there um <laughs> they just it was a random de- yeah that's like for them. that's like, like they have that Nat in a spreadsheet broccoli is the superior now, vegetable i love this ice cold bedroom you know how i feel about that she loves an ice cold bedroom evan loves an ice cold bedroom i hate it yeah um one thing about that is that she really values her beauty sleep dreamland and tries to get at least 12 hours a night she can sleep for up to 17 hours though dude 17 wait 24 hours in a day yeah that's awake for seven hours that's crazy. that's if you got up at 12 you went to back to bed at seven wow i mean as a nurse she's a nurse and a professor you know, they so say sleep is you know very important you know what you know what you know what happened for us is we saw sadness she's tired she's, tired. she's just tired she's, tired. she's a nurse she's a nurse and a professor how are you both that's wild 17 hours um, and that also feels like the sleep the heavy on the sleep facts tells me that nat will fall asleep night one and it's gonna be oh, like a storyline yes, yes she'll, she'll fall asleep everywhere yeah that'll and, be the and, thing she's and, constantly sleeping and joey or or it's only night one and she gets kicked out after one night because either joey like gets to know her and she's a sleeper or he never gets to know her because she's sleeping through the whole thing there, night one you're absolutely right she's not going to make it far but there she's you know how just like what's her name was like the poop you know it was the poop saga yeah sam it's sam was the poop saga she'll be the sleep saga sleep she'll sure. be falling asleep in between every scene he'll go to the restroom yeah. she'll he'll come back to her on the couch sleeping that'll yeah. be her era. she'll be competing with corinne for like sleep queen yes agreed um next. all right next rachel 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 dance that smile that's a dancer smile <laughs> You know when someone because 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 here's a here's, here's here's what a dancer smile is they hit it okay you know what I'm saying like they got to go on stage because I work with dancers like who will work with artists yeah and they're very good at going from absolutely normal to be like bam and they have the, the smile. smile that is a woman who professionally smiles okay because they always say like smile more smile more when you're out on the thing and you got to hit the hit the move and then you got to go on stage and boom the artist does this and you got to bam. She knows so how they, to hit a smile. they need big smiles all the time. So you wouldn't you know, be able to be a dancer. I'd be the worst dancer ever. <laughs> you can't hit the smile. I can't smile. So. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of crazy. I think it's a medical condition. I, I can't smile. So you just looked in. in I looked in the, the camera and I'm looking at the... myself being like my smile's terrifying. Um, okay. So Rachel. I think. Rachel has p- professionally smiled for a while. I think, who was it? Was it one of the cast members er- earlier? Was it L- was it Lenny, Lexi? I forget. I'm so sorry. Who is terrified of sharks? And I'm like, it's not going to work with Blake. I think Rachel is like our animal. It was Love like her? involved like, oh. in in like how Blake Moines is. This is our oh. this is our like animal activism, perhaps. Got it. Yes, Got it. yes. Mm-hmm. I just uh-huh. I, I, in that form, like maybe she's like a scientist who is like out in the field. I don't know. I can just see Rachel and Blake perhaps having crossed Ooh. paths. Maybe met. Maybe they've met. Maybe there was a spark. On an adventure. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm just creating a fanfic in my I mind love this. for Rachel and Blake. Um, I like the hair behind the ear. That's a very friendly vibe. <laughs> hair behind the ear. Yeah, the hair behind the ear says friendly. Says approachable. I guess because you've already like you've 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 tucked it. A hair behind the ear, like someone who goes, "Hey, yeah, nice to meet," and they bam. I don't know what that is. It's very. I was hot. gonna say you've literally talked about that before. Have like, I what really? Is that? Yeah, when you and I have been talking a little before, you've talked about like. 
I like have moved yeah, like, like, my hair, my hair, and I like I pull it back and, and you do that, that and you be like oh that's really hot it's like, very what? like I don't know why maybe it's like 90s rom-com era like I just kind of grew up in that era they did that a lot I don't you know you also like will then notice an ear I've noticed this about you really? too. Really? Yeah, you notice an ear. You'll be like, "Oh my god, I love how many piercings that person has." Like, oh, you'll notice. I don't like, even notice. I notice. I think that. you have an ear fetish. <laughs> Great ears, love them. Love the tuck behind with the hair. Ooh, but can't you see like scientists, like an- biologists, yeah, animals, yeah. like a I like don't a like know. a like a butterfly in the hair. Yeah. I mean, just because you work with animals doesn't mean that you need to put like butterflies and like butterfly clips in your hair. <laughs> yeah. No, I meant a real butterfly. The oh, flew and, like down. land. Oh, sure, you know sure, I mean? sure, sure, sure. Like she, she can walk out of her house, and you know, you know, we all do this thing where we see a butterfly and we're like, you put your, you put your yeah. finger out, thinking they're just gonna come over to you because like you saw it on a TV show once. She actually does it, and they come over, and you're like, what the fuck? How, how Let's did see, you do Rachel. That? Come on, let us get to know you. Honolulu. Okay. Oh my God, another individual nurse. lives in Hawaii. Nurse. Nur- I see. Okay, not nurse. Just nurse. I see you, nurse. Twenty six. So she's dealing with the intensities. Nothing better than a Hawaiian Christmas. Terrified of frogs. Interesting. Okay, interesting. So maybe I wasn't getting the animal nope, thing. Wrong. But I was getting like the nurturing, right? I see you, nurse. The animals. Yeah. I was getting. Mm-hmm. That. I was getting but look at this. Rachel's looking for an honest, gentle, supportive man. That sounds like Joey. When she's not working at the hospital, Rachel loves watching Friends, reading Jane Austen books, and spending time with her loved ones. Okay, so Rachel's a romantic. She's a romantic. She's a romantic. She likes Friends, Jane Austen books. Um, She's immensely proud of her Hawaiian roots and hopes to bond over her love of I'm going to say she's going to go far. This says far to me. Okay. Okay. Tight knit family. She describes her dream guy. It sounds just like him. Hospital. They're in Hawaii. I don't know if she'll win, but I see her going far. I, I get that. It says Rachel's signature look um, is involved. Ber- uh, Rachel's signature look growing up involved Bermuda shorts and feather earrings. What are Bermuda shorts? What is that? Um, I've heard that before. Do you know what that is? A type of short. A type of short. Yeah. Okay, shorts. Got it. <laughs> yeah, but okay. I'm just saying feather earrings. So she maybe does a lot of tucking oh, with the hair to show off the feather earrings. Tuck. And Evan loves to tuck. Okay. All right. We'll see. We'll oh, see. No, I, I agree with you, though. I can get yeah. that vibe. All right. Next. Sam. 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 Sam is. is and I know I'll go extremes always, but I always say it's either a night one or she's our main villain. Uh, I like I, it's just Sam is going to lay it on too thick. Really? You think yeah, so? I think she's going to lay it on too thick. Okay. I'm getting this energy that she's going to come in just a little too heavy handed for Joey because Joey's so sweet and kind of laid back. Yeah. She's going to come in a little too like the party's here. Oh, we got a party girl. Yeah. Well, not even the. Yeah, party, but more like just the person that says. Okay. Like. Sure. Hey, guys, I'm here. I think you should all go home now. Like she's giving us real housewife tagline yeah, energy. Yeah, she's going to come on and go like, line. the competition is over. And you're like, okay. And then all the girls <laughs> yeah. are going to be like annoyed. And it's like, okay. she's going to come in swinging. And because of that, like everyone's going to turn on her quick. Yeah. Sam is who I would expect immediately to be our realtor. If I wouldn't have seen other realtors before, not that you, you know, (laughs) there's obviously many times where there's more than one. (laughs) There (laughs) apparently is, yes. But uh, it's just realtor. It's in the face. I see competitive. Yeah, because not a big smile at all. No. Right? There's there's probably the least smile we've seen. Yeah. It's like it's barely a smirk. Yeah. But I kind of live for it. I kind of live for it, too. I kind of live for it. It's like, I'm not fucking smiling. I'm not going to do it. You can't make me. This is my... It's a model shoot. Kinda How is. often when you're doing a full model shoot are the models smiling? No, they're giving us what Sam's giving us. I'm going to say realtor. And mm. I'm going to say... I immediately said villain, but I'm going to say realtor and is shy. I'm going to say nightlife promoter oh 
Ooh, okay. Ready? I like that. CPA. Oh my God, she's an accountant. CPA 31 Nashville. She's Tennessee. an accountant in the South. I mean, we got so wrong here. Well, we really <sighs> screwed up. Um, Former New Yorker, though. Okay, former New Yorker. Okay, um, when it comes to living life, Sam likes to just say yes and lean in. So she's chill. Okay, we were very wrong on this. I don't know. Just say yes. Like you do it all, right? Yeah. She loves a yes day. Right? She That's loves a yes day. She loves. She works hard at her career as a CPA and also loves a night out enjoying pizza and margaritas. Wedding. This is not giving me last long. No. It says she l she works hard at her career as a CPA and also loves a night out enjoying pizza and margaritas with her friends. Loves dine European style, dinner at 10 p.m. She mostly met men who want to date casually. She's ready to find someone who will make her number one priority. She looks for the kind of love that her mom and stepdad have and knows her perfect match is there. Mm. I, I... Nah. I don't know. I'm not getting long. I agree. Not much here. She, I mean, the, the, the dining European style and dinner at 10 p.m. is like a move, I will say. I do love that. You know me. I love a late dinner. Yeah, well, it's very... You know what it is? It just screams someone that's like not real ah, she's a cpa i don't know that's that doesn't scream cpa cpa is usually like that's what i'm saying right so 10 p.m dinner for a cpa something's off here i think we got a cpa who romantic who wants to be something she's not i don't think she's doing the dinners at 10 p.m european style she's a cpa she's gotta be up early answering emails and going through quickbooks again. maybe sam How, well, i brought up quickbooks twice maybe. in one episode <laughs> How's Sam, no one's ever done that in the Sam, history of podcasts, unless it's a unless it's a tax podcast. Maybe Sam, maybe Sam is one of the type of people who can like can sleep for four hours and be fine. Mm. I feel like there's a lot of presidents like that. They're like, yeah, I can sleep for three and a half hours and I'm good. And you're like, oh, okay, okay. But I'm uh, not getting a lot. Nothing's not, buzzing here for me. You know what? She's probably gone. she's gonna end up being the yeah, final. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Okay, next. Next. Samantha. Samantha looks like she doesn't know that she's related to Lauren and Alyssa. She does look like Is the it just long me? lost sister Or does sister she literally of, look like the Allison, combination? Allison. Oh, sorry. Allison and <laughs> yes, Lauren. Yes. That's the, the third yes. sister. Samantha 100% is the sister of Lauren and Allison, long lost sister. Yes. Um, Samantha also 100% went and saw the uh, Barbie movie opening night. Dude. She saw the Barbie movie opening night, like the 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 fit that like bright sky blue. She went and saw Taylor Swift, lips. and she's a ma so she's a huge Swifty, and yes. she saw Barbie, and I mean, <sighs> pageant girl, yeah, big pageant energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm like maybe she was in Barbie. I don't know. I, I think she was like one of the she Barbies, might have been yeah. one of the Barbies in Barbie. Like maybe yeah. she's just gonna it's gonna say actor. Yeah, look, look, the actor. top has like a, a suit. What That's do they what call it? It's a little like lapel. Lapel. Yeah, yeah. You know what I will say about all these women? Yeah. The posture's off the chain. I know. It's all just like boom, like perfect posture. I know. They pose very well. But I think maybe you, I, you and I very much notice that because... Because we're both, we're both slouchers. Maybe. No, you're not. I'm a big slouger. <laughs> you notice that in women because you're like, look at this. <laughs> you notice posture in women because you're like, oh, <laughs> Jess. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. <laughs> you're always coming by me and being like no it's not that, right. it's not that i notice posture it's more like when someone has exception like a lot of these a lot of these women have exceptional posture. you notice that, that's all i'm yeah, saying no no sure 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 sure, <laughs> sure, 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 sure okay sure. all right um i'm gonna okay. say i'm gonna for the first time i'm saying realtor okay we're gonna go realtor big I'm, realtor I'm gonna say, that's, a, that's a professional energy i'm gonna right say there. professional posture go ahead what's samantha professional posture Pro football cheerleader in Miami. 25. Okay, that doesn't surprise me, actually. Doesn't surprise no, me. No, pro football cheerleader. That actually, like, that feels like it lines up. Um, She may best be known as an NFL cheerleader. Damn, I wonder Damn. for who. Well, it's Miami, so it's <laughs> the Dolphins, babe. There's not like, I mean, that's, it's late, guys. We've been drinking. 
So, no big no, deal. No, I'll tell you what that is. That's called, I've never seen a football game. It's called What is Sports? In my life. I'm like, what team? Are, what are teams? Is like, that is like, I've never the golf seen. Ball goes no, in the I hole? would never. Okay, so she's a Dolphins cheerleader. The question is, is she still a Dolphins cheerleader? Off season. Before she became a professional cheerleader, Samantha was a decorated pageant queen. You said pageant queen. Whoa. And cheerleaders, pageant queen vibes. Huh? And a princess at Disney World. There yes, a I mean, thousand she's... percent. Wow. She was actually a Disney princess. She's looking for her real life Prince Charming and thinks Joey could be her soulmate. Here's what I will say about I a cheerleader. I really hope that she comes out I cheering like or dressed as a princess. Please uh, dress as a princess. I like her energy. Yeah. One thing I will say. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you ready for this? Yeah. She's used to teams of women. Think about cheerleading. Mm -hmm. That's got to be competitive. That's got to be like there's personalities there. You're fighting for like the top spot. I think she'll do well. Well, I think though too then, you know, but you're also then dealing with a team. That's what I'm saying. Right? So it's like a team where it's like it's not even so much competitive. It's like we're a united front. That My point was yeah. that she won't be like cutting people off to win. She'll know how to be in like a group part like of this. like an engaged. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she'll be liked. Yeah, yeah. And if you're a Disney princess, if you're a cheerleader, if you have positive energy, mm -hmm. you're going to be fun to be around. Yeah, that Disney energy is yeah. fun. She's on the road with, with Miami Dolphins. This is when she's not on the road with the Miami there Dolphins. So she's still a Miami Dolphins yeah. cheerleader. Well, you here's, know who was also a cheerleader? Yeah. Gabby. Yeah, and so was Charity. There you go. So is she our next bachelorette? She's a winner, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. So whether now, she becomes the winner the of the show, she'll be she'll Here, do well. Here's a big question though. She is currently a Miami Dolphins cheerleader. That's massive. Is he moving to Miami? No. That's what I'm saying. Is like uh maybe. Maybe he'll move to Miami, but 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 I would imagine that Samantha cannot leave. That's like a huge accomplishment. But they have off seasons, the whole off season. Yeah, but what about so, when she's on season? Perfect. Oh, they'll split time. <laughs> Next. Um, also, she sings in the shower. Also, very Disney princess ish. Big, yeah. That's big Snow White. Like she's singing and the animals are coming into the shower. Mm. Right? Mm. All right. I like her. I don't know what it is. I like her. Something yeah. about her. I believe in Samantha. Let's go. All right. Evan believes in Samantha. Next. Next. Sandra. Sandra oh my gosh Sandra mm. now the question is golden bachelor Sandra is there going to be a, a competition can there only be one energy that's all I'm they'll, saying they'll duel there will be a Sandra duel <laughs> a Sandra duel oh now, I'm see, getting I was southern gonna say cheerleader with Sandra you know Sandra I, yeah I, I do you will think say, she could be also a cheerleader and they just happen to be back to back just, oh my god yeah. I can't get past it That's now. That's like major. I, I get even more pageant queen energy yes, right now. Yes, yes. It's pageant queen. It's cheerleader. It's the same. Sandra and uh, Samantha. They're, on, they're both dolphins. <laughs> they both they're both dolphins. Whatever, whatever those cheerleaders are called. They're both on the Miami Dolphins and they they got cast together. Like the, Yeah, there has to be. There's nothing. There's no other reason. No, the, they, they are. <laughs> 100% their besties they auditioned for the show together and here they are dude Sandra was built for a pageant mm -hmm. like she has that smile and those like her energy is like I know how to be when the lights hit yes who we see let's just see cyber security consultant 26 in Nashville Tennessee a cyber security consultant Hey, what does that mean? She comes to your house and, and you're like, hey, I need to get my internet set up. And she's like, well, you need, you know, protection. No, so cybersecurity consultant is, is someone who comes to businesses and says, hey, you need to up your security. And I'm, I'm going to do coding and programming to make sure that you guys don't get hacked. So it's like the FBI. She's part of the CIA. We, we, let's, just, <laughs> let's just delete this and say she's in the CIA. Well, that's wild. Whoa. Okay. She has her life all figured out, her career, social life, and now she's ready to be part of a power couple. 
which she's always dreamed. That's a very interesting, interesting. comment. Power a couple. A power what couple. What does that mean? I thought power couples. Like you go like, to restaurants and you're just like, we're the shit. I guess like, I always, whenever I think about a power couple, I think about like two, like literally a listers in my brain. Is that like too high of an expectation? Like, I don't, I, I know that there are many people who together are both like very amazing, talented, yeah. powerful people, but I guess when couple? I hear <laughs> we're definitely your mom and dad, couple. let's go. We're what a power I, couple. Let's go. What I'm just saying is that like, what I'm saying is yes! like, is a power couple considered when you're like, oh, I have, I, uh, Sandra would have thrived in the eighties. What does that mean? Which is there, there's no explanation. No explanation. So bad fashion and like, what does that mean? Thrived in the eighties. Again, fun facts. Sandra loves going on hot girl. Hey, hey, ABC. Straight up, I've noticed that this season so far with the cast bios, you take a fact that's already in the bio portion and put the same fact in the fun facts. It's yes. lazy. It's lazy. They'd There's be like a, a cybersecurity of- consultant. Fun facts. Works with cybersecurity. You're like, I'm hey, saying. dude. No, that's that's wild. Like, why are you? Why are Repeating. we doing repeats? Like, there are so there's so much information <sighs> about one person. So what that tells me is that like they're, they're reaching. They're not going to do that to someone who's going to be there for a long time because they're like trying to. They're trying to come up with something. Just to throw or they're trying like if someone's there for a long time, they're like very aware of how they're writing something, right? Let's be real here. If we have the top three, we're very aware yes. of how we're writing their bio because we want to make sure not to give away any hints. So with with um with her, I feel like because we did a double mm-hmm. fact and bio and then fact and fun fact, I, I don't know if Sandra's gonna go far. Okay. I don't feel like they'd make that type of loosey goosey mistake. If it wasn't, they didn't care. Like if it was a top or three whatever. individual, I, I don't think that they would like double down like okay. that. Okay. That's just my opinion. See, it's funny when I look at her, when I just see her face. Yeah. I see go far. No, a hundred percent. Something about her. No, I get it. I get it. Joey's gonna like her. It's the it factor. But there maybe there isn't though. You it's know? the it factor. But I, I don't know, Sandra. All right. I'm not sure. Next. I'm not sure. Next. Star. star oh my god a star with two r's love this for all of us mm, love the name the parents were getting cool with the names yes star. i love it i feel like maybe this is because her name's star and i just feel like i'm jumping the gun because i hear the name and i'm like ooh, exciting but i see raver I'm like, Star is a raver. She loves a rave. I can just picture Star. What's that festival? Um, EDM? What EDM festival? Oh, like festival? Neverland or something like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where she, like, I just picture in like cool. Tomorrowland. Fu- Tomorrowland, like in cool fuzzy boots and like things that are lighting up. And I feel like maybe it's because this top kind of looks like at least from what we're getting, because we're just getting like part of it. Like it might be a kind of neon orange bikini top. And mm. I know it's not a bikini, but it kind of looks like it from our angle. So I'm just picturing pool party, raves, star. I disagree completely. Her parents cool. were those people. Okay. Hence her name is Star. Okay, so her parents So her parties. parents, hippies, fun, yeah. 60s love. Yes. Babe, you need to chill. Stop taking life so seriously. Star, meanwhile, okay. is a financial analyst in New York City. She's serious. She's analytical. And her parents are, uh, mom's always saying, will you just relax? Okay. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, but the market's in this and the that and the this and the economy. And we need okay. to make sure that we're prepped for this and natural disasters. And she is analytical, serious, highly educated. Her parents are the hippies. Okay. I'm I just I don't know I think it's like I said I think it's the the top what we're getting cut off from the top that makes me feel like she's wearing a literal bikini to okay the photo shoot where my brain is just saying she is a star is a personal trainer whoa star is okay. a personal I've, trainer if I'm not right on this I'm blown away you and you're saying financial analyst I'm saying she's yeah she's 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 highly analytical she's someone that like plans the whole bachelorette party okay even I'm, if she's not the best you know even if she's not the the uh 
what do you call it? Maid of honor. She plans the whole she thing. She plans the whole thing. Yes. All right. I'm going, I'm going a uh, uh, personal trainer. Mental health counselor, Delray Beach, Florida. Okay. 25. 25. All right. We were both wrong. We were both wrong. Great. Um, Britney Spears impression. Babe, do it. Uh, um, uh, okay. Re reset. Reset. Help me. What you want it to be. Tell yeah. me, babe, because I need to know now. Because. Oh, okay. Let's see if you can beat that. Star. Wait, does it really say that she can do a Brady Spears yes, version? But look, at, I'm wrong. Always late. Spicy margaritas. Okay. Wait, I really need to hear a Britney Spears impression because I think I don't have a really good Britney Spears impression. I just enjoy doing you it and I would love it. to hear a good Britney Spears Ooh. impression. But if mine is better than hers, then like I will feel good. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will hold that over. Family oriented. Maybe I'm, I'm totally American wrong. I was really hoping to be right with this one. Resilient I felt it positive. strong. Picnic at the beach, going for runs, tired of running the third wheel. But she's wheel. a mental health counselor. I like that. And she feels like it, it says uh, what she was put on the earth to do. She's not helping others. Try new restaurants, picnic. Let me look in your eyes. Oh, God. Here he goes. The eye analysis again. Big eyes. Mm. <laughs> God, just stop zooming in on I'm Zooming eyes. in on the eyes. What are you telling me? I say <laughs> star is a star goes far. Yeah, you think? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think she does. She's I'm giving her a second chance God, he here. He's zooming the in eyes. everybody. He's just zooming in on the eyes. It's ah. insane. It's like I can't see anything but the eyes. We're so deep into these reviews now that like I'm starting to like just lose and I've I've been so bad. <laughs> I've lost every one that I'm, I just, I can't trust myself anymore. Okay. Um, admits she's always late. Spicy Margs, Britney Spears impression. She knows how to party. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, baby, baby. It's, oh, oh. You, know, like, you don't say oh, the word right oh, away. Oh, okay. I don't think she could do it that good. Star, <laughs> self-proclaimed impression maybe like i think she's better see than that. me okay. i just can feel it and i'm already mad about it what do we say what do we think far or no i don't think so no. just because of the bio okay the star is beautiful and seems like she'll be really fun on the show if she does go for a long time i think she'll be super fun yeah but i just am not getting it from the bio okay next. we'll see next Ooh, sydney sydney Sydney, is she a little stressed? Sydney seems like she Sydney's is so stressed. busy. Dude, Sydney is so stressed because she is so busy. Like Sydney's really good at smiling through the stress. The pain. Yes, a yes. thousand percent. But that is the face of someone who has a million other things going on. And she's like absolutely cramming being on The Bachelor in her busy sketch. She owns her own business. Whatever it is, she, she has she to own, owns her, own her own business. business. Because one million percent, that's the face of someone who is like, I need to show up for my clients or like, yeah. And also, if someone is this stressed and this busy while still able to go on the show, she owns her own business. Also, yes. she 1000% was able to figure out how to sneak in like an iPad or something so that she could answer work texts mm. because she doesn't trust who she left her business with. You know what I mean? It's like a family member that it's like, yeah, I got you covered, Sydney. It's and like she's a 21 year old <laughs> like right. intern yes. who just constantly is late because she like was with her boyfriend the night before. Yes. Like, and Sydney is losing yeah, and she's her like, mind and she's like, because she left the Sydney, business in Rachel's hands. And, and, and Rachel you know? and Rachel's like, girl, Sydney, girl, you know, I got it, girl. Like, like we always, we crush this girl. Like, we're good. And Sydney's, Sydney's losing it. Sydney's in the office early okay yeah rachel walks in mm -hmm. and she's late and sydney goes rachel <laughs> do you know what time you're supposed to be here and rachel goes like oh my god sydney you look so <laughs> pretty today like oh my god your top is fire and sydney's going i appreciate that but do you know when you're supposed to be here 
And and then Rachel just is like, you know what? Like I- you are so crazy. And like, if I'm being honest with you, you need to chill because you are just probably so fun to. Pro- like she's just re- Sydney, like driving her but mental. Sydney can't get rid of theoretical her assistant Rachel because even though Rachel is like always hours late and just parties and is irresponsible, Rachel always brings the clients. She's always like, yeah, 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 yeah. Sydney, you are so crazy. Rachel like- is in control of the client flow entirely because Rachel's like a nightlife in like everyone like on the town. Everyone knows Rachel yes. and, and Rachel can ruin Sydney if she starts talking shit out in the scene. hundred percent. So she has to kind of act like she likes Rachel, even though she absolutely despises Rachel. Yeah. And she's stuck with Rachel. Stuck. Sydney is the owner of a PR firm. Okay. Sid? I think it's okay. going to say, biz- like it's going to say business owner or entrepreneur, but she is like the own. She runs a PR firm. Uh, I just, I, I, I agree. She runs a business, but she doesn't run anything PR wise. She is the brains behind the organization and the workhorse behind it, but she struggles because she needs the Rachel's to be the face, to be the sales. So she does something with her hands, like an Etsy shop, some sort of like, she makes something ready. Candles. Yeah, honestly, like, a, like, like she's like the best candles ever, but she needs Rachel to sell the fucking candles. Ready? <laughs> what does Sydney do? Vintage, Vintage store, store owner. owner. <gasps> okay. Oh my God, Evan, you nailed it. I got one. You nailed two and a half that hours one. in. <laughs> Twenty eight. A, a boss oh my woman God, Rhode looking Island, to add romance. A vintage store owner. That's actually very Rhode like. Rhode Island. She does not hit me as Rhode Island. Wow. Yeah, she's giving me OC. She's yes. giving me Orange San County Diego, energy. San Diego. Yes. Wow, you you got that one. Um, big time. cats know how to play fetch. Wait, Most what, high school what are you saying? spirit. Her cats know how to play fetch and sit on command. That's actually like very incredibly she impressive. She lived in Thailand. She was voted most school spirited in high school. Of course she was. Of course, of course she was voted most school spirited in high school. Like she mm-hmm. gave it her all. Because you know what? She gives everything her all, including her vintage store ownership. Yeah. Okay. Her vintage store is the best vintage store that you can go to in Rhode Island. And Rachel 100% works. Like, listen, I'll say this. Rachel can dress the hell out of a mannequin. And that's who theoretical Rachel is. Theoretical Rachel has amazing style and can dress a mannequin at that vintage store. Will Sydney win? Bring her back home. Then Rachel will steal Joey. I would love which to. Which will then spiral <laughs> Sydney even more. Rachel. But Sydney can't even, after all that, get rid of Rachel because Rachel's dad is one of the biggest investors <laughs> in the store. Oh my God, I'm stressed. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, she's a free spirited, entrepreneurial, she's at a yeah. successful vintage store. I don't doubt it. She gives it her all. Yeah. She owns a store. She, She's not going to be able to give her full Joey to this. She Joey checks a lot of her dating boxes. And here's the thing. Sydney's got a lot of boxes. A like, lot of boxes. She's, because she's she's a businesswoman. And so it's, her life is checking boxes. There's a high standard because she holds herself to a high standard. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's hard for her to find guys because she feels like they don't check the boxes because she's so critical of her own life. Yeah. That it's hard for her. You know what I'm saying? And she's a complicated woman because it says that she will same day book an international flight and just go. I'm going to make a quick adjustment here. I think yeah. that anyone, I think it's safe to say that anyone who says I'm an adventurous person, that same day international flight, blah, 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 in their bio, bullshit. They don't actually never do it. It's them projecting they want it. I think because maybe they will do Because anyone who does travel do a lot, they don't. I think she's look. She's a she's a business owner. She doesn't have time to be booking international flights yeah. for fun. She just that's something she like romanticizes. But I think I think the comments about like the 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 international flights because what who we had someone earlier who was like, oh yeah, I can like plan a full international yeah. trip in twelve hours. These people are planners. Yeah. They're like it's like it's 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 masked in spontaneity like oh I can be so spontaneous yeah. but it's more like oh I can plan this shit fast. Ah, uh, okay. Because they're planners. Yeah, they're like we can accomplish. That's all I'm okay. saying. Next. All right, Sydney, next. Talia. 
Oh my God. Okay. Talia has to be our influencer. We oh, have to have we an have influencer. to have one. Model influencer. Model influencer. I mean, look at Talia. Yeah. I mean, Talia is an influencer. I can tell the top, the makeup, the hair, the, the pose, earrings, the, the smile. Pose, this is everything. someone who knows what they're doing. Like, Talia has 17 ring lights in her home, in yes. her apartment, or in her yes. condo, whatever, and she knows how to fucking use them. She knows them. how to say, hey, guys. Yeah, hey, guys. Hey, guys. And also, Talia gets, you know, maybe 2,000 messages a day being like, what concealer do you use? Yeah. Talia, like, tell us, where did you get that one silver hoop from you yeah. know what i mean like she gets thousands of messages mm -hmm. and she can just do links on links on links on links she's incredible at like burying the ad in a post she knows <laughs> you know what i mean where you're like you think it's an honest post but it really is an ad like, it's just like you guys here's my day you know in wherever <laughs> san diego and you don't realize the whole thing is about cleanser you know what i mean like you had I'm no idea up. you saw I'm she just, up. she just went to oysters but you bought cleanser and you have no idea how you bought cleanser. And then you realize later that she was selling cleanser the whole time. You're like, how I, you went to oysters and you went on a walk, but somehow I ended up buying $90 worth of cleanser. That's what she is. <laughs> She's a master. All right. We're going to see. Here we go. Esthetician cleanser oh, Huntington this, Beach. Oh my god, uh, yes. not bad. This is another neighbor. Okay, Huntington Beach esthetician. The Evan, the cleanser call. Cleanser call. The past couple, you've been on it. Oh my god. 23. She likes watching Gossip Girl all cuddled up with her Chihuahua little mama. Oh, Evan, hold my hand. I love her. Oh my god, I love her so much. She's watching Gossip Girl oh. with. Taylor and Lil, Lil Mama. Mama. Taylor and Lil Mama are a package deal. Is it Talia? I don't know. Talia. Taylor. Talia. Talia. It's definitely Talia. Talia. Her Chihuahua Lil uh, Mama oh, Lil watching Mama. Gossip Girl. That sounds so good right now. As soon as we're done, we're going to go watch Get Gossip me. Girl and cuddle up with our Chihuahuas. Okay. Oh. Okay. 1950s era. Loves a good pair of leggings to survive. Talia, esthetician. Okay, listen, just because you're an esthetician doesn't mean you can't be an influencer. That's very true. A lot of estheticians are influencers, right? That's There's a lot of esthetician true. influencing. Look at this. Ooh, love. When Talia is interested in a man, her pickup line is asking if they've met before. So we can't wait to see if her limo mm. entrance gives her deja vu. Okay, okay, first of all, they just told they just, us. I can't wait to see if like the most specific they thing They just you could ever 100% say. told us what her limo entrance is going to be, which is annoying for her because like I wanted that for her because like what a way to do a limo entrance. Like have we met before? Yeah. But the fact that that's her pickup line is have we met before? Talia is an expert. That's a Talia, you know, Talia knows how to flirt. That's a great pickup that line. Good. Have we met? Have we met? Yeah. Okay, I think she's going to do well. I think so, too. A top five. And I love that her, it says Talia and Lil Mama are a package deal. Dude. Her chihuahua and her a package deal, you know. Dude, if I, met, if I was single and I met a woman who like had a little chihuahua, I'd be like, I don't really care about all the red flags or any of the issues you might have. I think we could work this out. If you met a woman, if you were single and you and met she a, had a little no, no, imagine this. Lil Mama. <laughs> yeah, you Dude, I'm that. already in. I'm already in. Lil Mama? Can't wait to meet Lil Mama. Do you think she'll bring Lil Mama? Oh, please do. Oh. I'm going to scope her Insta just to see <laughs> Lil Mama. All right, next. Wow. We can't wait to meet you, Talia, All and right. Lil Mama. Taylor. Taylor. Oh, my gosh. Taylor. Wait. There's no way that Taylor. Yes. She looks like, um. I don't know why, that the first person that popped into my brain was, uh, who was the one that was Chris, Chris Martin's ex-wife? Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth, Gwyneth Paltrow. I'm getting I'm getting 90s kind of like um legally blonde who's she? <laughs> Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon meets Gwyneth Paltrow. There is a actor that I'm thinking of that she looks like and I can't place it. It's from a sitcom and I can't figure it out. Taylor has to be has to be a wedding <laughs> planner. <laughs> She's a wedding planner. Yeah. There's no way. Why are you laughing? We're just kind of drunk. That's it. 
we're both a little drunk right now and I'm feeling it because it's like our expressions are very intense. Like has to be, and I'm going, Whoa. Okay. Taylor, (laughs) we're both drunk and we're so long, so long. Taylor has to be a wedding planner. Yeah. Look at her. This is someone who is very specific, Mm -hmm. crushes a wedding, (laughs) knows how to crush a wedding. (laughs) <laughs> what's your deal taylor no, Does it- <laughs> taylor knows how to crush a wedding knows how to crush a wedding yeah. but also her friends would be like we wish that she would stop being a wedding planner because all she talks about is the fact that she's a wedding planner uh, and that she's not married it. and she's not married oh no, my no, god no. like i'm not I'm like all i see is these beautiful couples yeah, 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 and yeah. i'm so like, unlucky well, they're like they're like taylor you're amazing you're beautiful you're a catch like stop <sighs> talking about the fact that like you haven't met the right person yeah. because you're a wedding planner Okay, like Got that's it. my vibe. Okay. I'm gonna say <laughs> uh Taylor works at Nordstrom and she sells people like um she has a makeup counter at Nordstrom. Okay. So like a makeup artist? Yeah. No, specifically like a Nordstrom person because she knows how to like sell you because she, I feel like she knows yeah. how to do makeup. Okay, here the we go. thing about okay, I'm not gonna try to explain what Nordstrom I don't know makeup artist. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how it all works. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know how it works. Just when I walk by them, I think of them. Recruiter. I said recruiter <laughs> earlier about someone. I said recruiter. <laughs> Witty, loyal, generous, and always up for a good time. Now this is a pretty thick bio. This is a thick bio. The Midwest beauty has been in serious relationships before and knows she's ready for marriage. She says Joey is 100% her type. Okay. She's the Samantha of her friend group. Now, as <gasps> someone who knows sex in the city very well, finally I get to use my skill. You guys, Evan, let me just say something to you all right now. Huge Evan fan. is a massive sex in the city I've fan. I've seen it like three times. You've watched the entire season like four yeah, times. it's a fucking amazing. <laughs> It's the best show ever. Um, good food is Taylor's love language. No, hey, Taylor, I, that's no, not a love language. Evan, you skipped your part. No, I'm, I'm on the fun facts. No, you said that Samantha, she's the Samantha for a friend group yes. and you wanted to use your knowledge. Well, no, I was just saying Samantha is that's fun. A big, that's a big statement. That's a big to statement. To say you're the Samantha you know I mean? you're of your... fun, horned up. You're horned free, up. Free, no man can hold you down. No. Throw them in the trash. <laughs> you know what I mean? Doesn't understand when all you all your the girlfriends are talking about their boy drama. She's like, what's the big deal? Get a new one. <laughs> That's Samantha. She's like, I don't understand why you ladies are having such a hard time with these men. I always say, throw them in the trash and get a new one. There you go. There's Samantha. There's Taylor. I don't understand why you even stay with him. I always say, <laughs> if you want to get one, grab one. <laughs> What's the big deal? It's just a penis. There's a million of them within, a, and I'll take a million of them. You know what I mean? There you go. I mean, there's... wait. Who's your favorite in Sex and the City? Mm. Out of the, if you had to choose, who's your favorite of the four ladies? What do you mean by my favorite? That's it. like who favorite? would I want to date? Who do I like watching? These are very different things. <laughs> no. Who's your favorite character of the four? It has to be SJP because there's a dynamic, there's a depth there that I really enjoy. You I love think, a Carrie. I think Carrie is <laughs> dynamic, deep. Uh, I think she's beautiful, but I also think she's got <laughs> stuff going on. And I think the combination of all the women creates a gorgeous bouquet of of interaction i honestly absolutely love the show i think the show is incredible i think it's art i think it's it's new york it's just dude i love sex in the city it's so good you watch it tonight sure okay (laughs) okay you know what are we ready? <laughs> Hold on. 
<laughs> let's let's move well, on. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter. HR job. <laughs> oh, so she's, she's in HR. No one's listening anymore. <laughs> no one's here. If you're here, we love you. We we appreciate you. We cannot believe you're still here, and that means the world to us. But please, but at this point, Taylor, you might win this whole thing. We don't even at this point. We don't even know anymore. Okay. It said if Taylor could be anyone for a day, she says she would be Joey's fiance. That's a That's wild, wild statement. That's a wild statement. Next. Okay. Last one. Zoe. Zoe. Okay. Zoe 100% hits me as some sort of indie artist. Like, no questions asked. There's indie artist energy, but I'm going to say right now that her career because it's just a career i've wanted to say this whole time so i'm just it? gonna swing for the fences because you know i said my my rom-com career was perfumist um my other rom-com career job is chocolatier <laughs> i would oh, love my to be a gosh i wish we'd have brought that up earlier that's incredible i would love to be a chocolatier that's chocolatier. like my dream it's kind of my dream job what you, i mean i know they make chocolate but like that is just such a magical job that's what i'm saying imagine if i was a chocolatier Come with me and in you'll see in a world of pure imagination zoe makes <laughs> chocolate from now here's what i'll say <laughs> Farmer's Market. She has a small business. She sells. She's a chocolatier. She sells them at a farmer's market. She's friends with everyone there. Craig, who makes eggs. They don't make eggs, but you know, sells eggs. They had a. They had a. They had a torrid affair last summer, but now she's kind of seeing the guy who makes like hemp baskets. You know, at the farmer's market, and then she says, "You know what? I'm. I'm going to take a break from these guys, and I'm going to date." Joey. Joey and Zoe. I mean, oh, oh my, my God. It's, it writes itself. Let's see what she does. She's an artist She's an from artist. Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, oh we're not God. far off here. Okay, look at that. Joey need, or Zoe needs a man who is ready to commit and is willing to show up for her. Um, so that she will show up for him in a relationship. The Cuban American beauty is a full time artist. A full time artist. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Y'all, look at this. Exceptionally successful career as a sculptor, welder, and photographer. Welder? Yeah, you know a what? welder. They, they, have like the, they have like the the, the, the yeah. torches and yeah, yeah, yeah. The fire. stuff. Wow. wow. Do you know how hard it is to have a career so as an artist? <laughs> Zooming back in the hot. eyes. Let's see what they're telling me. Zoe tells the truth. <laughs> Zoe's honest. Does. She Zoe's cannot tell sweet. a lie. She cannot tell a lie. <laughs> I love Zoe. Can you zoom in on our bio? Yeah, sorry. I can't see it. Um, Zoe's been in a long-term serious relationship before, so she knows she's Virginia forever. She says, completely unplugged for the rest of the world. I believe her. Yes. It's not yes. bullshit. Some of the no. others bullshit. This is real. No, this is real. She dreams of taking Joey on a date night to a museum. Oh, oh I yeah. love her. When she's not creating, Zoe enjoys going for runs along the river and trying new restaurants with loved mm. ones. She she, she's non-cliche romantic. And she is like so genuinely she's romantic. She's a genuine romantic. And romantic. she's fucking cool. Yeah, she's really cool. She loves reading Architectural Digest. I mean, I watch the YouTube She's of AD. She's absolutely but I someone who remembers every time to bring her bag to the grocery store. Always. She's never like, oh, sorry. Yeah, no, I mean, she I mean, always so remembers. She remembers. She always remembers. Mm -hmm. She'll notice if you're on your phone too much. And you know what? I will say this. I don't think Joey's on his phone too much. No, he's not. He's I don't. Not I, 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 he like is he's not a social media he's guy. He's great with that. Yeah, he's great with that. I he's think that so that's like actually... You know, I feel like Zoe and Joey actually could really hit it off. I think so, too. But I think she's, like, very cool. I think she's great. And she might be a little too cool for this show. Ooh, artist Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Okay. Well. We did it. <laughs> we did it. We are a little drunky. We're drunk. Two and a half hours in. Uh, we love you. We're drunk. I'm going to go watch <laughs> Sex in the City. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Can we please? Yeah, we can. By the way, guys, what we do sometimes is we sit in bed and I put the laptop on my chest 
and then we watch it, and then we pass out, and then I wake up at 3 a.m., and the laptop's still on on my chest, and I close it and put it away. <laughs> That's what we're going to do right now, okay? Also, I haven't eaten dinner. I'm a little hungry. What am I going to do? Should we order McDonald's right now? It's like midnight. It's like it's midnight. Oh, we love you guys But sure, so yeah, much. we'll order McDonald's. Order we'll, McDonald's with us. <laughs> yeah, do that. Um, we love you all. We love you guys. Thanks for sticking in so on this much. long, long episode. Um, we treasure you all. We're so excited. We're so, uh, <laughs> we're so excited for Joey's season. We are. And we're just excited to be in this family. Dude, and we're you. so excited to be in the family. And um, check out Joey's first episode recap next week on Almost Wednesday. Almost didn't make it through that. <laughs> Almost didn't make it through that. I felt that. I sensed that. Next Wednesday. We love you. A week from today. We love next you. week's going to be great. We love you all. We can't wait to see you soon. Bye. Bye.